Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. We're back at Farming Simulator 22. We have we have the we have the Sparkle, and we have the Valuna, and then we have the Doctor Beardface some somewhere out there. Hello. 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 Hi. It's the last time we started over because um, hard was too hard, and uh, now we have we have strawberries in greenhouse. He said, "Ease up." It was it was too hard for us. We couldn't take it. Yep. Yeah, we weren't into it. So now we have we have four, three fields, three fields, I think. <gasps> I we have, we have three fields. Yes, we have forty, forty-one, and thirty-eight. Two of them are ready with canola planted, and uh, thirty-eight is ready for. I believe we decided on barley next season, which is coming up soon because it's like ten o'clock at night. I remember nothing. This well, one is <clears throat> fertilized 50%. And we, we, we realize that we can't lime after it's been seeded. Correct. So that one's canola. This one's canola. Yep. And this sense. one is waiting to be limed. Or this one has been limed. And that one has been limed, yes. It just needs to be seeded. And it's also been fertilized. I made sure to take all four of the or all the three of the fields. Now we do have large stones because we don't have a stone picker, so our our uh, equipment is going to take a little bit of a damage hit, but it's fine. It's not going to affect the crops, fine, and that's fine. the important part. Hello, Trix. Hi, Hello, the one. one. <laughs> <Jinx>. <laughs> So, Damn, I really chomped down on my tongue. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that's super painful. All right, what do we have in here currently? We have fertilizer in here. Okay. All right, are we ready for uh, fast forwarding to the next day or sleeping? Well, we, I guess. We want to plant that field, right? No, we want to plant that field next season, so that's tomorrow. Okay, sure. Uh, do we want to sleep or do we just want to fast forward till past midnight? Sleeping will put us sleep. at like 7 or 8 a.m. Alright, sleeping. Sleeping. Uh. Accepted. Oh, you guys have to actually accept it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And uh. it's morning. 8 o'clock. This isn't when farmers start. Yeah, no kidding. If I were a farmer, it'd be when I started. No, no, that's not oh. right. I'd start after need afternoon. To do a meeting. Oh, interesting. We do have to do weeding. On all of our fields. Interesting. Okay, we can do that. Can we? Uh, well, I, we planned for it in that we were going to get the, um, the, uh, the manual rake weeder because it was the cheaper option. Correct. So let me find a manual rake weeder. Weed, weeder, weeder, and rower, bale loader, roller. It's in here somewhere. I can do this. Can I though? Can I though? Weeder, there we are. All right. Uh, cheapest weeder is ninety-five hundred. Or. Oh, sure. We could go up a step and get the uh, the weeder cedar combo. I don't think we need that. We already got a cedar, right? We do have a cedar, yes. A weeder that. cedar sounds nice. It 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 does. I do, I do enjoy the weeder cedar. How, how um what's the uh, operating width? Um, the one that's ninety five hundred is six meters. The weeder cedar is nine meters. Oh, jeez, nine meters, please. It is yeah. double the price, but but it's a weeder cedar, and it's. I would much rather seed at nine meters alone, okay. let alone because what's our current one? Six so the half. only catch about the weeder cedar is it can only do grass, uh, canola, and then that um, oil seed radish. Oh. Grass can only grass canola. Okay, so that is not great. It's then. not as useful, but it is a nine meter cedar, a uh, nine meter weeder feeder cedar. Yes. I mean, I think <laughs> we probably will be. Planting canola. Yeah, it can be useful for canola for sure. It can be useful if we wanted to do the cover crop and then get free fertilizer, basically. So, so as as we're be... preparing fields ahead of time, yeah. we would plant the 
oilseed radish and then plow that in and then we'd get free fertilizer out of the deal. So it's an option. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do that. With those pallets. Okay, let's do that. Organizing. Bye. Oh, yes. oh okay. there's strawberries. We have lots of strawberries, oh, nom, nom, yes. Nom, 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 so nom, nom, after nom. you left, we had done a few things, including preparing all those fields that we just talked about. But also, Voluna kind of went on board with the the strawberry situation. So what do we have for strawberries currently? Oh, only 48 liters left in here. Okay, so that means that all of them that are out here are what we got. Oh, no, oh. I'm sorry. As good as bees are, we do need something that has the ability to lift the pallets <clears throat> um, into something. Because those ones you can't lift by hand. I find that interesting because I was able to lift the ones by hand that I had produced on my farm briefly. Huh. But I also didn't have a full pallet, so maybe once they get full they're just heavy enough. Maybe. Um, so yeah, that's true. Are um, you able to strap these down, Valuna? Oh yes, yes yeah. you are. So if that's the case, just strap it to the wheel. It'll be fine. We could we could start bees, and then we could just kind of shuffle the full pallets off the side until we have the means to move them. I wonder if I them. can stand on the truck, and then you can pass those last two pallets up to me. Or will they fall out if I open the tailgate? No, they will not fall out. I mean, once you've strapped them down, they're not going anywhere. So Here, you can leave the tailgate open. See if I can shift this one. Just Put it on the hood. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh no, it's not click and hold, it's click. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so we currently have 33,000 left. Uh, we need to do some work. Uh, Beard, are you getting the weeder? I have got the weeder. Okay. Um, I suspect oh, that we can do another her. round of fertilizing. Oh, shit, balls. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no rotate button? Uh, you have to... Um, oh, that's a chuck button. I think it's hold... Middle click? Let me remember. Yeah, hold middle click. Okay, hold middle click. This Guys, is... they're not going to want strawberries that are turned upside down and falling on the ground. They'll just go you into the strawberry <laughs> upside down cake. It's fine. Yeah, no, we'll make jam out of them. Those are perfect jam strawberries because they've already started being masticated. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. That uh. was skill. Don't worry about it, Wing. Don't worry about it. Also, hi, Wing. Hi, Wing. Alright, do we have any more fertilizer hiding anywhere? Oh. Does oh. not look like... Oh, wait, oh, maybe. Yeah. Is that fertilizer or is that lime? I suspect that's lime. Your lime. That is indeed lime. I'm going to go get more fertilizer and see if we can do another round on these fields. No, I'm just making it worse. So, Here, I'll grab this one. I don't know what's wrong with this weeder, but it's not weeding. Is it operator problems? Is it, uh, hit V, lower it. Uh, yeah. That's the one. Okay, I'm coming in, Baluna. Yeah, strawberries that don't come out when upside down may be more of a problem. Shit. You <laughs> bitch. Okay, think, listen. Yeah, I we're think just gonna close the gate. Hello, drums. Hi, drums. Hi, drums. And wing. The answer Hi, to drums. that is always no. Because that Ooh. that is an insane shift. Strawberries aren't gonna need you to. Okay. Fuck right off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I got a big bag, are we able to fill from the big bags? Or are those pores I'm not only? Gonna lie. That was a chunk of money. Like, real chunks of money. What? Chunks of money? What? He got like $80 an hour for that, for the last four hours of his True. Shift. I mean, money wise, worth it. Sanity wise, not so much. Yeah. You can't do it often, Wing, because you will absolutely burn out uh, faster. Because, let's not lie. Uh, 
working in anywhere these days, you're going to get that burnout no matter what. Right. All right, you look strapped in. And if you Kay. keep if you keep using the excuse of but the OT incentives, you'll just keep doing it and you will burn the hell out of yourself. Yeah. So keep then looking at make... that money and be like, I can survive just a little bit longer. And then yeah. one day you'll like not wake up and not make it into your shift and then do like I did for a long time. And yeah. struggle with getting into work properly. Yeah, then you lose money. And mental health. Mm-hmm. You know, I meant to start music. It didn't happen. Well, that that now. Pretzel... What day is it? Pretzel has a cyber deal, Cyber Monday deal going on that they extended to midnight tonight. I am already a subscriber. What's Excellent. Pretzel? DMCA free music. Yep. Ah. It's good times. It's good times. We came back and got these parts. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can can I have a passenger? Oh yeah. I I don't know. I don't know if passengers work in this. Nope. Right, I'm doing this one row and then double checking okay. to make sure it lets me do two rounds of fertilizer this time. Hiya, 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 hiya. No, no passengers allowed. Then we should be able to jam extra strawberries into the passenger seat. <laughs> Come on! Mm -hmm. Just squish them in there. Squish them in. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, fertilize. Flower lime. Yes, double fertilize. That is happening. And then after this pass, Were I'll you go. Honking aggressively at me? I'll go over <laughs> to the other side. Bong. Watch you do that. I just tried to honk with my horn, and I could barely even hear it. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. horns in this game are very. Uh... Not aggressive. Oh dear. Not aggressive. Oh, what did you do? I'm now? okay. Okay. All right. I just. How are the strawberries? <laughs> They're strapped in. Yeah, the strawberries are fine. The bush, not so much. I just didn't account for how it would uh, change turning. Where are you selling them? Uh, the garden store, the Jardin Ferme de Dieu. I'm going to assume that that's correct. Yeah. So figuring out where I've been with this fertilizer is difficult. Yeah, you just kind of have to trust yourself. No, not the one I want us to do! Stardew that updated the 64-bit. Nice. That is huge for modding. That tab button is going to get me in trouble. I don't remember which game it was, but there was one game I was doing modding on that I had to I had to pace myself with mods because it was only 32-bit, and they upped to 64-bit, and I was like, yes, the floodgates are open. There was just one game where you needed to pace yourself with mods? Yes, only one. I stand by it. So what seed are we going to put on that one field over there? Um, Barley. That's right, balloon, right? Barley. Uh, yeah. Okay. And if we do barley, I believe we can sell some and save some for chickens. Barley, uh, yes. <clears throat> Chicken 
it's like wheat, barley, and I think it's just wheat, wheat and barley for. Oh, uh, unless they did open it up for sorghum too. Pretty sure. Because previously they wouldn't eat oats for some Daddy reason. Oats were reserved for like cows and horses. Horses, yeah. Oop, that's a tree. Oh, by the way, the discussion about lining the properties, the fields with trees. Mm -hmm. I I don't like that idea simply because trees make it a real bitch to turn. Equipment. Yeah, yeah I, I just ran into a tree do, already. Like, one or two sides. Yeah. Yeah, we'd, we'd make sure it was uh, non prohibitive to farm equipment use. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy, whose cornfield I'm driving through. They'll survive, I'm assuming. Hi, night. Hi, <laughs> night. I'm not gonna survive. <laughs> We're gonna have to come rescue you. I am somehow upside down. What the heck? This is very close to real life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Secret's just being laid out bare here on Farm Sim. It's just like a real small town. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, we're doing we're doing we treats as we Goddamn uh, <laughs> Goddamn cab. Standardize the buttons. Well, do you need to be reset? Um, I'm just... I don't want to reset because I'm literally right at the farm store. So also, I'm, I'm not sure if reset it. keeps your uh, attached Ooh. cargo. Just start hauling up my hand. Well, I see you spinning on the map. I'll bring uh, a vehicle to try to tip you. Okay. Alright, did I get all of that field? I did! Alright, let me go back to 40 and finish off that one. And then I'll go to 38. Double double fertilize that one before we even get started seeding it. I'm on my way, Bell. Thank you. I'm gonna take roads though. I was roads. taking roads. Pshaw. So cornfields are roads now. Ah <laughs> 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 uh, damn damn Burn. one. Alright, kitty tree time. Dark kitties. Okay, good news. I made it out of the cornfield. Mm. <laughs> it's still upside down? Yes. Okay. I find that amazing. Uh oh. It's going back in the cornfield. <laughs> Oh dear. The Maisy Road. Boo! 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 Get the hook! <laughs> Get the hook! Did that work? Eh, it worked. That worked pretty well. Alright, uh, so the middle spot that I need is right in between these two grass spots here. I think that'll work. To be fair, the one, I hate puns and I have no joy in my heart. So, <laughs> I mean, good luck, bud. <laughs> I see a single missed weed. You're fired. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, I just passed it. There's, there's two weeds over here that got missed. Uh oh. Uh, let's see, where am I here? Where is Bill? I can't exit to Hello, barriers that trap vehicles. Oh, it's a boat! There are pretty boats. There are nice boats. Yeah. Don't turn! Oh, you bitch. Also, I'm not streaming tonight just in case I have any shameful moments that Pine will capture and then make a sound clip out of. Alright, so we cannot fertilize this a second time before the crop's planted. Okay, got it. Then I shall plant you right over here. 
Bell, there's a suspicious black van headed your way, just to let you know. Uh oh. Hmm. Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh fuck, we're suspicious! <laughs> Alright. As the strawberries come out, I'm going to pull them aside to the back. Just to keep them out of the way so more strawberries can spawn. Up on Bell now. It's stacked up. Okay. Let's see if the strawberries will stack up. They. Bell, stop turning. I have hey. not gotten them to stack up. They'll stack horizontally in that space, but they won't go up vertical. Uh, once they finish horizontal, they'll go vertical. Really? I did not have that happen in mine. I had them go oh. only flat, and then they would not spawn more until I moved them out of the flat space. Thank you, Sparkle. Hmm, curious. No problem. You just needed a physical modification. So let's recap on what's happened to those strawberries. They <laughs> are perfectly fine. <laughs> They've been extra masticated by tire tracks. It's all organic, artisanal. Hmm. You know? Wait, what? Gourmet. Strawberries is not accepted here. I checked. Uh, are you in the right spot? Oh, maybe there not. There might be a different unload spot. Oh. Oh, uh, no, there's, there's just that one spot at the farm spot. Interesting. Oh, goddamn We're getting paid. We're getting paid. Yay. Yeah, there was another spot. $712. Cash I had 732. Or 732 and then 554. What? We should have a whole lot more money than that. You bought a bunch of stuff. Hang on. Do we have somewhere that uh, shows money? Because we we just put. Uh, let's see. How much did we? How much did we put in there? Hang on. Let me look at the strawberries. Strawberries for. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I was seeing five twenty four, and I was forgetting that that's per thousand liters. So we we got the full thousand liter and a half price, give or take. I was expecting so more per pallet. I forgot they were low. Volume pallets. Um, so we just need to make bigger trips to. Uh. Do, do is there anything available like a flatbed trailer? Uh yeah. yes. Um, let me. Might be a wish list item. It's a low so loader. We have our trailer, the green one, and when it's uh -huh. not being used, we can convert that to flat. It's the Luna. <laughs> Holy nuggets. This thing's fast. Okay. Sweet blueberry jam. Let me go ahead and start seeding. Oh, nope. Not going to start seeding yet. Still got weeds in it. You let me know if you end up in the river so I can try <laughs> by, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm in the river. <laughs> now, I... Hmm. <laughs> I had thoughts. There are no more thoughts. It's fine. He is indeed in the river, folks. She's no thoughts. Head river. empty. <laughs> in the river. Oh, hey, let me check the wheat prices, because we still have 11,000 liters of wheat from that first harvest. Hey, Ace. Wheat. Hey, Hi, Ace. Ace. How you doing? Hey, Ace. Literally just drove by Jesse. I was like, see ya. Bye, Bill. We're in September, so we should wait to sell the wheat for at least another month or two. Okay. Because we're we're at the lowest possible prices right now. Okay. So, so this I'm gonna need the truck reset. <laughs> Your driver's license revoked. Oh dear. I what? need speed limited vehicles. He's just driving like a 15-year-old girl who got her license to help out, or didn't even get her license to help out on the farm. And this is exactly what her daddy gets, because he didn't bother to get her a damn license. Because she's only 15. Or didn't bother getting her a damn truck that couldn't go fast enough to get herself into trouble. I mean, I, she was, she was moving. I was doing 41. <laughs> she flew by me. Like... If I recall, that truck has a 120 kilometer limit. So... <laughs> It's going to book it as fast as you let it book it. <laughs> uh, 
We have some nice roads to drive down, though. Are, are we still needing to reset the truck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's no getting that out. Okay. Where yeah. Where is the truck? Once oh, you're in the river. <laughs> it's in the river. <laughs> <laughs> I look on the map. I'm like, where's the truck? Oh, that purple thing in the river. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Reset. Okay. It is now back at the store. Thanks, Papa Twin. Welcome. Oh, I need to actually I'm driving the back with the tractor. All right, so what what do we do at the moment? We have we have thirty two thousand dollars, euros, whatever. I'm gonna call them dollars because because. Can we use the currency yeah, dollars? Looking. You cannot. Yes, you can. What? Yeah, it's I did a mind game. Rex, I need to know how your phone autocorrected to Webret. $32, what is a Wii Brett? What is a Wii Brett? Yeah, is that a Wii version of Brett? Do we know a Brett? Hmm. I don't. I don't. I haven't known a Brett for many years. But apparently, a Wii Brett is a thing that her phone thinks exists. Yeah. Or it is a thing that she has manually correctly spelled at some point. <laughs> So either either it's a real thing or it's something that Trick specifically has made thing. up. <laughs> Apparently it's a vibrator. Wonderful. My eyes are watering. It hurt my tummy. <laughs> so it is something that Trick has specifically typed out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How did this auto get in here? <laughs> And now that's forever in your Google search history. Yeah, apparently it was in your phone to begin with, but... Mm-hmm. Google advertisers like, let's go! <laughs> we got a potential customer, boys! Not only is it a vibrator, but it's a strap-on vibrator? That's hilarious! Interesting. Oh, boy! Is Brett a fuckboy name? Did he get named it? Did a vibrator <laughs> get named after a fuckboy? Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go with yes until someone named Brett gets offended. <laughs> ah. That's hilarious. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many, so many things to comment, tricks, but there are. I love you and adore you, and I'm not sure how far you can handle my <laughs> humor. There are many things that could potentially be said. Yes. Anyway, it's a good time for a hydration break. It is. Oh God! Oh shit! What? I forgot to. I forgot to twist the lid on my water bottle. Oh. <laughs> she hydrated a little bit too thoroughly. Thankfully, it came <laughs> off and the water bottle did not follow. Or else Good. I would be wearing a shit ton of Diet Coke. Good. <laughs> Alright. So, as far as things to do currently. He's doing the weeding over there. Almost done with our second of three fields. And then we have our seeded field to do. Our, our, our to be seeded field to do, and that just needs weeding and then it needs seeding. And I think that's all we have to do for today, unless we want to buy something else. We're at 3200 bucks, and I, I really do believe we should have a buffer of money. Yeah. Just yeah. because I'm, I'm no fun like that. Way to be responsible, gosh. Gotta be responsible somewhere, because God knows it ain't real life. <laughs> What you doing in here, Bill? Yeah, but we could look to the future because we're gonna see these both, all three of these grow. It'd be interesting. Is there anything we need specifically for like any of the stuff that's gonna be produced? No, no, we're gonna be getting canola, and that's just gonna go from the harvester that we've got into the trailer that we've got, and then that we're gonna be, and then we're gonna be doing barley, which is gonna do the same, and that's gonna make bales, which we already have. 
Do we want to look at something, uh, another passive income thing? Buck, buck. Buck, buck, buck. So one thing we could do um, is we could invest in the bees now because the bees do give, I think it's three and a half percent increased yield on canola. And High school bee. We do have this big old canola field to work with. Hello, so Scooby. If we, do, if we do bees or chickens, we will need a front loader. Oh yeah, kitties. <laughs> or either an attachment for the, uh, which we call it for the tractors, or we'll need a specific front loader. Right, and that—that's where I was thinking earlier that if we do bees, we could just let them let them sit there and then nudge the boxes aside as they get full and then deal with actually transporting them and selling them later but we'll at least have the, produ the production started yeah i mean we could try yeah well with the the chickens we'll need a front loader for feeding won't we um yes yes probably we gotta grab the feed from the store you can you can technically um you don't have to grab the feed from the store if you've got the wheat or the barley or whatever and you can feed them from a trailer, which we've got. So that part's right, not a huge deal. Who wants to follow behind me with the cedar on this field? Who wants to do seeding? I can do that. Okay. All I've done today is crash into Bell. <laughs> it helped. It was with Farbaz. All right, I need the cedar. I don't know what any of this equipment is yet. Uh, cedar is the blue and orange one. Blue and orange. Okay. I think it's blue and orange from this distance. Yeah, blue and orange. So it's parked in here. And it should already have seed in it, but I don't remember for sure. Hey. I'm still Zoom. good at backing up. Zoom. There's another strawberry box. Hey, Scoob, if you're still listening, what are you shoot shooting? I suppose I could just look at her steam. I'm too busy backing my ass up. And then, how are we doing for water? It was pretty Pretty good. much full. Yep. Cool. Ba, 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 ba. Get out of my way, piece of equipment. Oh, yeah. Uh, so right, let me take a look at B costs. Okay, so we're doing barley now, yeah? B. I would recommend mm -hmm. getting one of the big hives yeah. and then having a drop station there. And the drop station can be anywhere, if I recall. Um, maybe, probably. Uh, so the big ones are 20 grand. So that, that's a yep. hell of a cost. It is, but it's quite save, uh, space saving and true. No. Now, what I got. one thing that I wish is I wish that they would put more information on. Oh, for sure. Everything. Like yeah. The fact that the bees do three point five percent. I only found that out by someone who literally plowed a bunch of fields and made a video on it and did testing and then calculated it. What is it? What is it that the bees do? The bees do a three point five percent increased yield for certain crop types that are nearby, within a certain radius, and the radius is different for each of those beehives. So I don't even know what that radius is. All right, before I start, I'm doing barley in the field I have pulled up to. Correct. Barley correct. in the field that you are pulled up yes. to. Yes, yes, correct. Yes, yes. Okay, sounds good. All right. So if you put like beehives around then they'll increase the yield? They will increase the yield, yes. So let me look at the beehives in the thin proving yield bees, animals, where the hell is it? Animals, types, bees. Um, Place beehives next to your fields and you will soon be living in the land of milk and honey, as the bees will increase the yield of canola, sunflower, and potato fields. Wow. Any flowering plant, apparently. Yep. Which makes sense, makes sense. I like this even more, then. Yep. Um, but I don't know what the ranges are. I heard the big one does 150 meters, which like should that. cover 
a majority of both of our fields. So what if we just put it kind of almost... Like, hold on, let me get out of this thing. I'm, th I'm thinking almost center between the two fields. Like, what if we just put it right here? So that will... That will probably cover God all three of our fields, God. but I don't know what 100... I don't know what 150 meters is in relation to our fields. I can't mentally pace that out. Is there like a measurement tool? Not really, no. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's a way. Because the closest okay, that we've got is, is our like nine meter working width thing. That's what I mean. Is I thought it's like this. The hitch on this thing is nine meters. So, so I mean, if that's nine meters. Then a hundred of those that away. Let's hold on, sir. Let me see how many paths passes this th this field takes me because then that'll oh, be yeah. like a rough that, that'll give us information i'm also going to look at the map to see if the map happens to have breakdowns on sizes of these fields i thought somewhere there was that information I'm about, I'm about five passes in on this field and i'm about halfway so okay five. so that would be 95 or 45 meters yeah so that would be there so that means that that field is give or take 60 meters wide so 150 no, meters like would cover our entire collection of fields currently. Like this is about uh, 90 meters wide. Okay. This field. So okay. if we put it in the middle, it would get it. Hmm. All right. Yeah, there's no information on how big these fields are. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, so I think that spot right here is probably the best place for him. We'll put it in the like um, the concrete barrier area there, not like the drop off. Yeah, like it, in the grass area that's within yeah, the yeah, concrete yeah, 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 yeah. area. Yeah, and back and kind of close to the drop off point so that people plowing and stuff like that can turn around. Yeah. Yeah, that is still a zone that gets tractor attention. Yeah, okay. That works. So are we good dropping the uh, 19,000 on that? I'm good with it. I did not listen to a single word you guys said about where you were putting it. Um, because I was so spot. focused on my lane. I, I trust you guys. I um, Just a heads up, if I'm doing anything like planting, I'm not listening. Okay. Because <laughs> I am like, my lines must be perfect. That's fair. In the zone. And then the yeah. question is, where do I put the uh, the honey collection point? Maybe over by the greenhouse collection point. Yeah. Could oh yeah, could do that. Okay. Now is it three point five percent per beehive, or does it only matter if it's just one beehive? Uh, I did not see any information about whether they stack. So, I would assume three point five percent total, and then multiple beehives just to cover area. Gotcha. But that's just a total guess. Um, I don't want to put it like right next to the strawberries because we might want to expand that grassy area into more greenhouses. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, you're right. Correct. I would also do that, or not, uh, not put it there. Um. So what about? I mean, directly next to it wouldn't be a huge problem. Um, I would. I think that it, eventually we could just stack more beehives hives along that thing. So, like, what about um, what just like right here or something? Like right in that green green spot in the bunker there. Oh, over here. Okay, we could do that. That's a that's a fairly unused space. Yeah, I mean, there's. What is, it? what is this thing anyways? That is a hayloft, so we can dump yeah. hay in there for saving for later. Not that we necessarily ever need to save that for later, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, right, uh, right there. Bunk. Perfect. Boom. And it's already got honey in it. First crate. Where did you guys put the actual beehive? Uh, the beehive is next to the stone bunker thing. Is it uh, in the grass? It is in the grass next to the stone bunker thing. You're, you'll be driving pretty much straight at it when you come back your way. Perfect. Um, the other reason why I ask is I doubt they thought of this, but pavement cooks bees. Uh. So, yeah, because my friend did it for science, 
Um, she's getting beehives on her farm, on her acreage, and the one thing they told her that was very important was not to put it on pavement, because in hot summer months, it dries out the hive and just cooks bees. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, no, it's definitely but, in grass. It's next to pavement, but their openings are right over grass, so it should be fine. It looks great. I see it on your stream. I swear to gosh, if we cook our bees, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> <laughs> very sad could you imagine it would be it would be very unfortunate all right when so, like a psychopath very unfortunate it would be very unfortunate but then we would have you know crunchy protein to work with if we needed to uh, that's interesting i wonder if bees are edible i would assume so i, I might not be very pleasant to eat the pointy bit but that's true all right, so we have we have five liters of honey. Ah, yes. nice. That's a shit ton of honey. We should make mead. Can we make mead? Let me go look at the production things. I don't think so, but I'm not positive. Uh, I guess that's a question that we should ask ourselves too. Like, do we want to start buying buildings that uh, event? Like, do we want to create our own production line for something? I think eventually, yes. Yes, but, eventually. But uh. The cheapest production building is 50000 Right now, you know, we're just going to farmer's markets. Right. Little tiny, we've got a little tiny stall of artisanal, handcrafted stuff. That's it. Yep. So the I cheapest mean, hey, is 50000 and it's a bakery. Okay, so were we thinking about the pizzeria? Uh, let's see... Oh, I guess that also pizza. makes a good point because uh, I didn't look at the the production facilities that are on this map already. I was just looking at the ones that we can buy in place. Um, so then we also have the pizzeria. Uh, let's see what we have. We have fromage de lune cheese dairy. We have the the bakery that I'm not going to pronounce. Uh, we have. Do we? We have the great processing plant. I don't see the pizzeria. Okay. That might be on one of the other maps. Unless you know where it's at. I don't. I haven't looked. Okay. Let me teleport myself over to the bakery and take a look. Um. Where's those weeds that I missed? Yep. Bakery. Okay. Good. Good. Oh my gosh, I missed three of them. Three? Fire. Horrible. D tier content. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, yep, so it's still 50000 to buy the bakery here, or we can buy our own and place it wherever we want. Uh, I don't see pizzeria. There's the dairy. I am down to pl to put our own on this land somewhere. Okay. I think we should put our own production facilities on a piece of property that we buy. So looking at the map, we'd either have to buy a field and convert it, or yeah. uh, we've got 35 and 37 nearby that have some sizable open land to build on as well as being fields uh, there's also big open field just north of the store that has lots of space or there's 48 there's bottom bottom right corner of the map that's got a lot of open space on it I don't know if it's conducive to building but how much does 39 cost a lot uh, uh, 30 39 112, 112. yeah 37 is a lot but I, I, I don't think we should buy that for, we should buy that for like to use as a field, not as a. Right. Um, we should, after uh, we harvest 41 and 38, I'm wondering if we should plow and connect them and make them one field. Could do that. Be easier to work them lengthwise anyway. Yeah. Except for those damn trees. Well, I can go take care of those right now. <laughs> Yeah, we we could definitely take care of those. All right, so we have we have we have bees. Bees have been dead. 
Please. We have seeding in progress, weeding complete. So what do we got for contracts? We have we, a 12 we, grand. We do have contract. an open fertilizer that could do contracts. We have an open weeder that could do contracts if there's weeding contracts to do. I don't actually know. Let's see. Cultivating, 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 fertilizing. Oh, they're, they're all... They're categorized now. Oh, they weren't categorized in the previous game, so you had to read through each one. Harvesting and sowing. Sowing might not be too bad. That's a pretty sizable sower. Hmm. I'll make us feel 30. There's field 30. That's a fairly sizable field. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go fertilize field 5. Alright, I'm gonna go sow field 30. Close enough. I'm not close enough. Right, this is probably too much seed, but it's fine. I'll use it all later. Alright, so I need to go to field 30. That away. That away. I'm gonna go the scenic route. Pretty out here. Especially like these little scenic overlooks over the uh, over the river with like the castle embankment wall kind of things. It is very scenic, it's very lovely. I like these double bridges. The double bridges over the split in the uh, in the river, I like it. Okay, uh, I am going to that field right there. Did they tell me what I'm planting? Hang on. What am I planting? Barley. I can do that. Barley, barley, barley. Right, how do I change types again?
Right. The seedening has begun. It's a nice seeder. That's a pretty decent one, yeah. I like it. My favorites, though, are the uh, the big ass like gullwing cultivators. Yeah. The ones that, like fold out like three or four times, and they just these giant, bulky, <laughs> hulking things. It's just such a nice feeling when you get a piece of equipment that just adds like even three meters onto your. Mm -hmm. you're like, oh yeah, it's like one and a half times more than what I was doing before. Yes. I can finish this row in six trips instead of nine. Yeah, it starts adding up. Hey, Valuna, what you up to? She's uh, handling children's hot chocolates right now. Ah, important. Very important. As I finish my own hot chocolate right now. Oh, yeah. Way too much seed. We're gonna have to hold on to the seed for later. I bought two pallets of seed, not even thinking about it. I'm using like one seed every, what, five, ten meters or so? Yeah, I bought a bunch of fertilizer just because I'd rather not make two trips and whatever leftover is in our fertilizer, so. Right, exactly. Did I, uh. I didn't turn it on. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Turn on the cedar so it can do seeding things. Tricks you totally should. Hot chocolate's important. You do the one. Hot chocolate. Do it. You know, with a cab bouncing around like this, it's really hard to do straight lines. We're, we're very bouncy. Yeah, what bouncing. the heck? That's very bouncy. Yeah. Like, just, just really all over the damn place. And I don't know if it's the field or the rocks that are in the field, or if it's just the nature of the tractor having a, a lighter suspension or something. I don't know. Kids thought it was acceptable to pour water in their hot chocolate. No comment. Mm -hmm. kids. I made it with milk, and then they took their glasses of water and poured it in. <laughs> Magic tractor. did it again. Alright, I know what I'm doing wrong this time. I am, I'm gonna stop doing it. I assumed that when I was lifting the cedar that it was turning itself off. It was not. So I, so I kept then manually turning it off when I was lowering it again. That's fine. See, I'm perfectly fine with water-based hot chocolate. I, I will agree it is better with milk, but it is not wholly unacceptable without. You just have to use extra hot chocolate mix to oh, get absolutely. the right creaminess. I'm fine with that. That's fine. I was, I was telling Sparkle before you guys joined I was making my hot chocolate, and since my milk had gone bad, I, I had to make do, so I did uh, half water and half ice cream, and that was uh, that was very acceptable. It was delicious. 
it added extra creaminess and it even had a little bit of a, a foam head to it for some reason. Probably the soy lectin. Probably. Yeah, hot chocolate sounds good. bought hot chocolate pods instead of packets, so no hot chocolate for mm. me. What, what type of pods are we talking? Uh, Keurig pods. Ah, okay. Cake cups. Yeah. The dollar store had hot chocolate bombs, so that's what the kids had. Nice. Ooh. Dollar store hot chocolate bombs. <laughs> nice. As long as it's drinkable. Yeah. I take it back. Maybe I did not buy too much seed for this field. I am more than halfway through one pallet of seed, and I am only three and a half passes in on this field that looks like it's going to take 10, 15, 20 passes. I bought way too much fertilizer for this field. <laughs> That's fine. We'll definitely use that. It needed like one pass, <laughs> and I bought four. Oh, oh, I see. I was wondering where all our money went. <laughs> <laughs> like really efficient at because uh, the other one because I, I think I fertilized this field once before, and the other one burned through three packages. So I thought that for sure. Like I I wonder if there is a difference in efficiency with the different fertilizers. I didn't know if that was going to be a thing, but uh, could be. Or was that when we were on hard mode? Because that could be part of it, too. Yeah, it turns out this field's really freaking big. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. A weird L shape. Yeah, it's a weird, weird L shape, but it's also incredibly it's long. Here. Yeah. So like one pass takes what, like 300 seed. We're never buying a weird shaped field. I don't mind weird shaped fields, but yeah, they're definitely harder to work. I see someone is braving the cultivating jobs. Mm -hmm. Good luck. It's not plowing. It is not plowing, that's true. So a cultivator can work faster and wider, but still. It, it may be a little bit of a drain on the mentality. Oh, hey, we're uh, we're getting late in the evening. How's the uh, seed coming, Sparkle? I think I just hit halfway. Okay, let me slow down time a little bit. Yeah, please. I meant to ask for that sooner. So is each day a season? Each day is a season currently. We can adjust a that if month. we want to. Or yeah, it's a month. But yeah, we can adjust that if we need if we think we need more time. But for right now, I think we've got enough to do in a single month period. Yeah, for sure. But if we start getting more fields and need more work to do, then we might want to extend that out. Whoops. That was not a good line. Let's uh let's fix that. All right, we're going. How far am I done with this field? Oh dear god, okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have looked. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get more seed. I was not expecting that. Yeah. 
and it's surprisingly addicting. Were you, like, were you here no when way. I was talking about my hunting experience? Hunting game experience? No, no he wasn't. He wasn't there. Um, I, I haven't played hunting games in a long time because I used to work for Activision Value and did testing on the Big Game Hunter and the Deer Hunter series. Oh, yeah. So uh, it's been like 15 years at this point, I think, since I last played a, a proper hunting game. But I, I bought that one on Humble Bundle, and I'm debating on trying it out. Well, if you uh, want to hook up with us on a multiplayer game, we've been, I don't know, we've been having a pretty good time. Hmm, perhaps. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I didn't think I, I, I'm not, like, in no way am like a, a hunter... Fisher, like I, I, I don't do these things in real life at all. Uh, or nor do I aspire to do them in real life, um, because I just don't like hurting animals like that. So I'm good. But uh, maybe that's the reason why I enjoy the game is because it's like it's interesting enough and peaceful, walking through and like finding animals in the game, and then I don't feel bad about hurting them. Yeah. That's the joy of games, is you can do things you wouldn't otherwise do. Like stabbing your friends to find out if there's friendly fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally that was... the first thing that Jess did was, uh... I tried to shoot him. <laughs> you gotta, you have to test it. There's no friendly fire in it, unfortunately. Boo. It completely stops you from firing through someone. Boo. Don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the trap. Is it big? Uh, let me first see which field it is. Uh, bailing is field two. It's a small field, so it's not that bad. Um, but it's... Let me look at their equipment. So it's eight pieces of equipment. So first things first, you would have to tra uh, transport all eight pieces of that equipment up to that field. Um, and it's the whole process of um, mowing and then tedding the hay and oh. then windrowing the hay and then baling the hay and then transporting the hay. See, that's not, that's not fair. No. It, it, that's why I said don't fall for the trap because I've fallen for that trap before. I picked a field that was, uh, let's go with, give or take the size of field 26. And I was at that for... 16 hours. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, like if it was already mowed, eh, maybe. Or even already tethered, like, right. maybe. No, they, they make you fall for the trap because they just say, oh, it's just a simple bailing job. You just gotta bail it. No, no. You have to do the whole thing from start to finish. Like, if it were just picking up the straw after, you know, a wheat harvest or something like that, fine, great. But, no. <laughs> not, not for two and a half thousand. Boom. Nice. We have money again. Hooray. Hey. I mean, I've got a lot of fertilizer left in this tank. I might as well just go... Do another fertilizer job? Go to field 15. I'm still... Trucking along with my seeding job. I'm about halfway done with the long part of the field. I don't know what that translates to overall. And it looks like sparkles, like two thirds done, about. I think so. Um, I don't know with contracts if there's any time limit on them. Because a lot of these look like they're trying to get jobs done for like a specific season or something like that. But I don't know if they care once we actually accept the contract. Who knows? We'll probably find out the hard way at some point.
God, this thing's so wobbly. Like, what the hell? Did you remember your weight? They didn't give me a weight. <laughs> like, it's got plenty of, like, weight and dragging power for it, but the whole body of this tractor is just wobbling back and forth like it's drunk. Terrible at backing up tractors still. Hello, Gila. That uh, took a moment to drag the strawberries out of the loading zone so that they can continue producing. Ah, good, good. Um, how many pal how many boxes does the honey? Uh, let's take a looky here. It's got five boxes. Can you lift it still? Yeah. Yeah, that might actually be worth preemptively pulling it off the thing so we can lift it by hand. Mm -hmm. I think it's got room. This little loading thing, like, it's just a little tiny pallet. So it looks like it should have room for at least one more pallet. And it's got a box stacked on top. No, only one pallet is, um, so it will stack the small boxes on top of each other on the pallet, but only one pallet will be on that drop zone. <laughs> Sad. So, it has four boxes on the bottom, yep. uh, on the pallet, but then only one box on top of those boxes, so would it have produced right. more? It will produce more, but uh, the, the consequence of that is that it will require us to get a forklift yeah. or something because it will become too heavy for us because oh, gotcha. we can't pick up the individual boxes we can only pick up the pallet gotcha might be worth leaving it and testing it every once in a while to see how big it can go while we can still lift it well too late i moved it okay because i know we can move it up to a certain point i just don't know what that point is The, um, now that being said, um, it will quote unquote store any excess produce, um, kind of behind that pallet, like waiting in queue. So when yeah. you remove it, it will produce and, and place what was behind it instantly almost. Oh. And it's interesting but, that those don't show up in the production chains, like you would see, like the strawberries producing and stuff like that. Because you can see the strawberries will, they actually have a bar and it will show you how much it's stored up backlog behind the strawberry pellets. But it won't show you that for the, the bees. Maybe the bees are consuming it? They don't typically consume excess. Yeah, it's probably just got its own hidden bar of how much excess honey it can store. Uh. But since it doesn't show up on the actual production chain list, we can't really see what that what that is. Are, are you are, for the server? Are you able to um, proactively put like, or I guess actively update it with mods, or do you have to like restart it? We would have to restart the server. Okay. So okay. It, it's not really a server; it's just me hosting it on my PC. So I'd have to relaunch the game and but redownload we would, it. Okay, we wouldn't have started a new game. Or oh no! Yeah, we can do that on the fly. Uh, but we did okay. test it earlier, um, shortly before you guys joined, and found that. Uh, it straight up does not let you join if you don't have a matching mod list. So we're going to have to do mod list sharing if we're going to add more mods. What do we have? Oh, well, we have none on them right now, right? The only one that we've got is the uh, the Saddle Track DLC thing. Because we, uh, we all pre-ordered. We all got that by default, yeah. Um, um, 
So if There's we're going a... to add mods, we're going to have to discuss which ones and then make sure that everyone's got the same ones downloaded and ready to go. Yeah. If there's one that's just like basic quality of life stuff, I think that might be interesting. And even if there's stuff that just adds more information about. Like, there there the are some informational mods. I haven't looked into them yet to see what what all they entail, but there are some ones that do give more info. Um, there's one that's just a neat tractor I want at some point, but we can't afford it anyway, so we can, we can wait <laughs> on that. Um, and then there's one that auto loads bales, so we don't have to like do bale stacking by hand because I found out with my last stream that that's a bloody nightmare unless you're really good at controlling those things so maybe we want auto bale stacking at some point yeah because I mean if we don't do that it basically means that in game we're spending an hour trying to properly stack a bale right. in order to fit them properly right pain in the butt yep Yeah, there are bail yeah. loader trailers now. I, I don't know for sure if the default game has bail loading trailers now, but there are mods out there already for it. Oh, there are without mods now. Oh, right. You're talking about the ones that are like actually mechanized and stuff like that. Yeah, those are those yeah. are definitely an option too. But I'm I'm talking the cheese modded method. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm definitely f uh, down for quality of life improvements. Um, but the one of my friends is playing with like government subsidies and stuff like that. Yeah, no. So, like, <laughs> I'm good. No, no. That's that, just free money. That's just that's just free money. You might as well play on like a creative mode or something like that. Yeah. Which basically that's what it does. It just gives you essentially creative mode. Um, there was one that would have helped us with our um, our money kerfuffle by oh, really? just giving us an in-game option to add money if we need to. Let what happened with the money kerfuffle? Let me be oh. fair that that circumstance ever occurs again. Yeah, because we'll know about oh. it now. So the money kerfuffle yeah. was basically we did two different harvest contracts uh -huh. that were built to deliver to the same place using the train. The same product. The same product. And uh -huh. each contract has, basically it has an amount that it's looking for. Um, we harvested both fields, loaded them both on the train and delivered it, and only one of the contracts completed. Oh, gross. And, then and? When I, and when I canceled that other contract that wouldn't work because we would have never gotten the, the crops to deliver, uh, it fined us like $45,000 because we oh it, it thought we, we were stealing stole. the crops. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to edit the file and re-add our money back in because fuck that Yikes noise. Yikes-a-rooney. Also, Wing, you're super tired because in the last 24 hours, you've worked like 20 hours. Yeah. Sleep, yeah, man. Sleep, Wing. Sleep. Yeah, get that resty. Make sure you're hydrated and fed. Got some sustenance in you. That'll help. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, is that Do my weight? <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, find a desk to sleep under. But also make sure you're taking maximum break. Like, yeah. don't let them be like, hey, we're busy. Can you, can you cut your break short? Yeah, no, I that know noise. not all jobs do that, but enough do that. Uh, more than enough do that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I ever tell you guys I got fired from Walmart for not taking my break? It's uh, it, Not only that, but uh, they do that because of interior theft. Because they need to track where you are. Right. So I got I got fired for quote unquote insubordination. Because they told me to go on my break and I couldn't make it back to the break room without being accosted by customers asking me to help them. And by yeah. the time I was done, my break time was over and I was being yelled at by management to get back to work. Yeah, sounds so. like ma yeah, it sounds like management in Walmart. Yep. But unfortunately, in the U.S. at least, being fired for insubordination disqualifies you for unemployment. Yep. Because it's your fault. Oof. Yep. So yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah, at fault termination disqualifies you for mm -hmm. employment insurance in Canada too. So yeah, I was uh, I was ready to uh, I was ready to burn Walmart down at that point. Yep. Don't blame you. I'm doing a balloona. Yep. You're back. Okay. Have fun in the river. I landed it. In the river? No. We're okay. Good.
Alright, so I had to go get more seed. Because I ran out. I got a lot this time. So we're probably going to have extra seed. <laughs> That's good, because this seed job is going to leave us with next to nothing. It's going to be really tight. That's fine. We'll have we'll have plenty. We have a little bit left at the at the shop if you need some right now. Otherwise, I'll have plenty spare. No, I'm at 16% with two and a half rows to go, so. Okay. We should this, be okay. This eight grand of fertilizer that I had bought yeah. made us about 28,000. Nice. Nice. I'm glad to hear that, Wing. Um, it very much is within their benefit. Uh, I'm on, um, what do they call it? The Gen Zers call it a specific kind of TikTok. <laughs> I think it's, uh, what is it? Resignation Revolution TikTok. Uh, oh, yep, on Reddit, that's... it's the anti-work movement. Yep, anti-work yeah. movement has been a big yeah. thing lately. And I am all fucking for it. Like, oh, yeah. Ooh, the Eat the Rich movement. Ooh, I'm being mm -hmm. promoted. Also, Eat the Rich, yep. Yeah. I can't remember what uh, progressive uh, country was did the studies, but like they said that um, the four-hour work week, or the 20-hour work week, I think it was, um, just showed like massive spikes in productivity and like that uh, it's one of the Scandinavian countries. I know it's exactly yeah, yeah, what you're yeah. talking mm -hmm. about. And sick like sick days and um there's another thing. Parental more leave. vacation time. Yeah, parental leave, more vacation time. Like essentially they it's just all there. Yep. And companies but saw like growth in productivity and profits like yeah. Hilarious. Go figure. But, if you don't treat people like slaves, they actually want to work and do well. Yeah. Gasp. The thing is, is that um, they also educate their people, and they don't have the uh, mindset of putting people in jail just to get them to work. There's that too. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh no! Am I gonna have a thin line? Along oh no. This? Just don't not. look at my field then. <laughs> well, now I want to look. Ah, not so bad. I've got a couple missed spots on mine too. At that golden hour where it's real hot, fucking hard to see. Even mm. with lights on. Mm -hmm. There was a company in Seattle where uh, um, everybody made the same salary, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the name of the company is, but Dan Price, I think, is the one who's always tweeting about stuff. And he's always talking about how he changed his salaries workers to 70000 per year across the board and yeah. all, that, all that stuff and treating people decently. Uh, to be fair, it sounds like a, a a great workplace and a great experiment that he's been doing, but also apparently he's a piece of shit, so there's some of that. You can be both. You yeah. can be both. He, yeah, he, he could very well treat his workers nicely and then also be a piece of shit. That is true. Yeah. I uh, For a long time, I was seeing a woman on TikTok that was... I spent a lot of my life on TikTok. I, I can hear the judgment from here, but I don't mm -hmm. need it. <laughs> but um, uh, she, too... No, what button did I press? Oh, no. What button did I press? How do I get out of first-person mode? C. 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 Oh. You bastard. Um, but she did the same thing. Uh, even she, all her employees make the same money she does, makes the same salary. Um, she also has... Uh, company cars and she has the same uh, mentality of you need time off you take the time off stuff like that and uh, she runs a clothing line and uh, she's been in business for eight years 
and the biggest flack she gets on TikTok is from a lot of times men telling her that her business model won't work. <laughs> uh, to me, if you've been in business for eight years doing the same thing, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. But. Uh, I always thought that, like, you know, especially when it comes down to pay, if you have, like, that aggressive of a salary and you treat people and you get, you get that reputation, like, the amount, the quality of employee that you can get is huge. Like, yes. Yeah, people will be fighting to work for you. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Should we switch this over to, like, a political channel or something? <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Let's talk about bunnies. Did you say bunnies? You did say bunnies. Do we get bunnies? That'd be kind of awesome. That'd be amazing. Angora bunnies, so you could get Angora wool. That'd be great. <gasps> That'd Meat be amazing. Rabbits. Meat rabbits. <laughs> it's a shame there's not more of a... Um, different kind of meat market in Canada and the U.S. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I grew up um, with uh, hunters and stuff like that, so I've tried a lot of different meats, and honestly, it's amazing the difference in flavor. But, okay, we've got more honey developing. I liked rabbit, but it was uh, a pain to have to produce it all yourself. Yes. I'm sure. And that, that's one of the big challenges with the big meat markets is that, you know, if, if you're going with the variety of meat markets, some just don't really lend themselves well to mass, mass production. Yeah. yeah. Like there's a, a company out here, I can't particularly remember the name of it, but they do specialized meats. So, like, they import stuff from all over, like shark or alligator or not shark awesome. just saying but they have like a lot of options but the thing is is this is always really expensive so like unless you're like trying yeah. it for a meme or like you're really like specifically interested in that particular type of meat like they're not going to get that much business from just right. people who are trying to make a soup you know yeah exactly which is a shame because variety is what helps people thrive and um but the, especially North America is just not a set up for people to thrive. It's set up for specific individuals to thrive. Well, and like you said, it's really hard to get that sort of stuff imported and kept in stock without yeah. the, the huge like transport chains that we've got. Yeah, see, the other thing is, is that, um, what the heck's happening here? Stop shifting, you ghost strawberries. <laughs> um, because they don't get the... <laughs> because they don't get the subsidization that uh, beef and chicken does, they won't be able to compete and bring in cheaper meats. That is true. Yeah, the subsidies do kind of guide the market. Which is also an excellent argument to for meat reduction in your diet. Hmm. I, I, I do not subscribe to that. <laughs> I know. You're such a veggie hater. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to do another contract. I still have lots of fertilizer. Go for it. Oh, yeah. I don't need to hold. Or turn it upside down. I'm just a little bit sad about the lack of meat representation in, in games. I mean, we've got survival games that tend to do heavily on meat, but like all the farming games, they shy away from meat production so heavily. Mm -hmm. Like even farming sim that is supposed to be one of the most realistic aspects, aspects of farming out there Dairy refuses to touch it. Yeah, and that's because of... Um, that's because of uh, lobby groups and, and groups like PETA that unfortunately make it very difficult for them. Right. I used to work at a pork uh, processing plant. Nice. I say processing is a PC way of... Sure, 
Sure. Yeah. Yep. 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 But that—that's the thing that I'm getting at is like we have to do this PC <gasps> thing. Like the that's. Little bees are flying out. And it bothers me, because we've got, you know, all these lovely little farming games, these these lovely little you know town-based farming games like Stardew and stuff like that, and they just refuse to touch the meat thing. And I keep trying. I keep suggesting it. And everyone's like, but we don't want to piss people off, or we don't want to make people sad, and we don't want to make people be upset that they have to lose their, their favorite barnyard animal. I'm like, well, don't, don't make them chop them up into pieces. Yeah. But it's an important part of farming. It's an important part of humanity. It, it has been since, since the dawn of our existence to, you know, work with animals and eat animals. And, you know, yeah, it's not always the, the most pleasant subject. And, you know, some people are definitely squeamish about that, but we really shouldn't be shying away from it. But farm sim won't no. touch it. All of the little farm games won't touch it. The closest we get is something like My Time at Porsche, where the animal explodes into confetti and leaves a little floating hunk of meat behind. <laughs> yep. That's the closest we ever get to meat production. We, we don't even... They don't even try to do it the, the PC way of sending them off to the farm and then getting a meat shipment the next day. Like, they, they refuse nope. to touch it that badly. And it just bothers me, because it's like, why, why deny reality? Yep. At the very least, you could have a friendly local butcher who's the nicest dude in the world, and you just bring your animal there, and he gives lovely pats on the head, and then the next day you get a, a delivery. Like, why, yep. why can't that be a thing? Yeah. But it's the reason, and the reason is, is because then you're going to get a phone line open to your company from Karen, whose child was exposed to the cruel realities of the world. Yeah, fuck them. Every damn one of them. Fuck them. That is, that is my harsh take on the whole situation. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, it would be... Like, Ranch Sim, at least, has brought that thing. Right. Uh, and actually, we were so we were talking about that in Farm Folks. And I know Farm Folks has a less than stellar reputation. But they're trying. And we'll story time on that later if we need to. But um, the, the meat topic came up again. And for the most part, everyone's on board with attempting some sort of meat, but the publisher themselves are afraid of it for obvious reasons. And um, we were, one, of the, one of the people had mentioned Ranch Sim as one of the best potential methods of taking care of it. And that is just the harsh realities of, yeah, shit needs to get taken care of. We got a farm to run. We got money to make. Hello, Gila. What are you doing? What are you doing? Chill, kitty. The one bunch of plant haters. Everyone's ready plants. to kill crops Honestly, for, for profits. That's true. Honestly, I'm super a super fan of tofu, too. Um, but it's mostly that I'm just a super fan of eating. <laughs> so. There is that. I love different kinds of food, so... Same. Yeah. And for me, um, deep-fried tofu with a little drizzle of a good sauce, oh boy, I'll burn my mouth on that over and over and over again. In the same night. <laughs> like, I won't even let my mouth heal. Just... Fried tofu is like napalm. It's worse than McDonald's old apple pies. Mm. <laughs> For holding heat, yeah. Burnt Those things are violent, like yeah. aggressively violent. Yeah, yeah. But deep fried tofu, same thing, but worse. And but oh boy, I want some deep fried tofu. I used to get agadashi tofu from sushi restaurants quite often, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of the agadashi style because I'm I'm not a big fan of the sweet. But I used to go for dim sum a lot with my parents, and this one place had these. Uh, chunks of just deep fried tofu with seasoning salt on top and a little bit of chili oil. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I would burn the fuck out of my mouth. <laughs> Even before the meal started. I couldn't taste the rest of the meal. But that was fine. I had my tofu. I One of my don't biggest, believe like, I've had tofu. It's okay. I mean, it depends on how, like, it depends on if you have a sauce with it and, like, um, yeah, I guess that's how it's cooked, really. Yeah. I don't like some. My biggest incentive to travel, like, 
I would say my number one incentive to travel is to just have food in other places. And I admire that. So if I go to like Japan, it's the first thing I'm going to be doing is going to be just going to a restaurant and then exploring afterwards. Yep. Yep. Um, I actually considered a road trip around the United States uh, many years ago. I would not do the same now. No. But yeah, absolutely. Just to try food. Just to try the diners and stuff I would see on TV. Diners, yeah, dive and death. dives. Hell yeah. Yes. Yep. Um, but yeah, traveling to Japan to try the food there. Or, you know, actually pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Especially anywhere with a coast because I love seafood. My uncle <clears throat> played his cards right. So he's he's effectively retired at like 50. Nice. Um, and he's like, he's just a person who is made to... Uh, walk and travel and basically survive, like make his way around countries by public transit and staying in low cost accommodations. He's a walkabout type. I yeah, see. he's he's a he wrote a book actually because he did essentially that in Africa and um, spent a lot of times there just going down the road and then he'd find a group of people and you know be able to communicate and do some chores for them and then they keep have let them stay in their area and they eat experience eating all sorts of things and he's all these different stories it's totally cool i'm never going to be that person but it's just an interesting um way to experience things like raw and firsthand the fascinating lives that some people lead I wish I could do something like that. I've never been a uh, terribly adventurous eater, which is uh, one of the, the first challenges with traveling and whatnot. Eating? Fine. I'll, I'll eat almost almost anything I'll, I'll try. Um, interacting with people <laughs> in, like, the, the outside of my own comfort zone areas, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Yeah, that, that's also challenging. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm quiet because I'm eating. But um, I have no problem talking to people outside my comfort zone. That's how I Stockholm twin into talking to me <laughs> and being my friend. Oh, um, extroverts. Yep. Yep. I'm much less now, um, but it's mostly because, uh, phew, I'm just tired of people's antics. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, I live the in. Worst. Yeah, unfortunately, I live in Texberta, so. Uh, boy, people are just bastards, and I'm tired of it. But uh, yeah, I used to adopt people all the time, and I would have no problem walking up to a complete stranger and being like, "Hey, where is this? Who just ran me over, <laughs> Beluna?" Not me. I'm in this thing. Way over here. That I would notice. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to just eating quick and get this done. But I'm done uh, seeding that. God damn it! I'm done seeding that field. Okay. I'm. And I'm all done. I'm almost done with my contract. I'm just waiting for that last moment where it ticks off the finish. Ninety-nine percent. And I'm totally not gonna finish this thing. I'm gonna leave them as is. We did, a, we did a good job in contracts. We made a lot of money. Yeah. I just need to drive this back and empty the seed into our field somewhere. <laughs> it's not going to bill you for the seed. Nope. My seed. I bought it. I do wonder about that. If they... If they, uh add additional funds into the contract payout if you leave a bunch of seed in there or something like that. I haven't tested it, but I have a, I have a feeling they might. Thanks for finishing this all the way. I appreciate you. Hello, Gila. Hi. Who left this cultivator in the middle of... 
much of a jig. <laughs> So one thing I wonder about these production chains is what happens if you're trying to do something like a cake and you don't have butter or eggs or whatever? Like, do your products just kind of go into the ether somewhere until butter is supplied? Or is there some method to finish off the production chain without making butter yourself? I wish that's. I was thinking about that the other night because, like, um, you know, I, I I got chickens and then, uh, yeah, you just buy chicken feed. But like, it'd be nice if I could just go load up on somewhere and, and buy barley at like cost, at, at at like market price. Right. And bring it over to my chickens. Yeah. Finish off that production chain with whatever you've managed to provide. Yeah. So like you know you contribute fifty percent of it. You can go buy milk and and as long as you know you have the tanker, you can bring it over and supply yourself with the milk. And... Yeah. Hooray! Woo! Wow, we're rich. Ooh. Hooray! We almost have as much as we started with tonight. Right. Very nice. All right. Uh, so we're done with field work. We're done with contracts. Shall we uh, speed up the night? I'm good. Yep. Yeah. It, 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 oh dear! It, it, you didn't look both ways. You were the one driving. Yeah. You're supposed On to look both road. ways. On the road. On the farm where there are people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's um, the, um, what's the is it subsoilers? What's the subsoilers for? Uh, subsoilers are, I believe, a form of cultivating, if not plowing. It should tell you if you go into the shop and look at a subsoiler. Should. The description oh. should tell you. Or is the roller the thing that we need for the rocks? Uh, roller is for small rocks, and it will add an additional level of fertilizer. Uh, for the big rocks, we actually need a stone picker. Which we can't do after the field's been planted, so we've got a little bit of time before we need a stone picker. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna move the current honey off, maybe? And then go to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll move it off. It's fine. The one, the answer will forever be no. I will continue to burn myself, both <laughs> physically and emotionally. So the honey developed one more, like put one more box on top. When I was still able to lift it. Yeah, I, I don't know what the limit is. We need, we probably should find out the limit at some point. I don't, don't know what the limit is. There is no limit. Nobody understands that reference. Um, no. Hi, Doc. Oh, hi, Doc. Hi, Doc. Hi, Doc. Okay. The same movie that gave me the word vomit phrase. We sleep. We sleep. Sleeping. Ah, what's happening in my face? I had clouds. What? I have darkness. I had clouds and then darkness. Oh boy, these. Uh... Uh oh. Uh oh. That's uh, a big crate ah. of honey. So, it produced throughout the night. That's that's fine. I was expecting that. That's why I was talking about right, ramming right, speed. I'll the side. Okay. Ramming speed. <laughs> Make sure you hit uh, Dr. Beardface. He was plowing into me with the truck. Okay. Yeah, it was totally him. <laughs> Famo. Fixed. Fixed. <laughs> so Doc, we you to... were hearing me twin Valuna, me being Sparkle, since I know I sound like a bunch of other people. <laughs> um, Sparkle, Twin, Valuna, and Dr. Beardface. It's a me. Aha. The hitbox is the same regardless of what you do with it. Alright, back to weeding. Oh shit, the strawberries are producing real, real fast, real fast. Ah, yes. 
Um, if you look at the production chain, wherever that is, we currently have 390 liters of strawberries still in there, so you got another box and a half. Maybe okay, a Valona, more. I'm gonna check them off to the side. All right, so we've okay. got. Oh, we don't need to weed this field. Nice. Uh, there's weeds in the barley field. I believe once you weed weeds it once, it doesn't weed again. I'm not positive on that. Totally not realistic on how weeds work. Right. So we have growing canola with 100% fertilization on both fields. And then we have the barley at 50% fertilization and weeds that are going to get taken care of. Someone will need to uh, spray fertilizer on that barley field for the second round. Oh, I got stuck on you. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck on me. Stop pushing me around. I've tried to do stuff. Oh, uh, Valuna and I are manhandling the strawberries real well. I see that. I see that. We're going to need to upgrade our uh, method of transportation pretty quick here. Or maybe even get another greenhouse? Quite possibly. Or both? Or, or <laughs> both. All of the above. Uh, let's see. You said the green trailer is possible? Uh, yes, so if you take the green trailer back to the store, you should be able to edit it at the store and turn it into a flat. That's rude. You get all the way to the store. Now we've got... Uh, almost 20 pallets of strawberries. So, um, not in game as far as I know the one. In real life, absolutely, strawberries do, but it's a lot longer than you actually think. Once they reach the store, they've been from plant to store, they've already been a week and a half, at least, off the plant. Yep. As, as with most produce. Yeah. Um, I would recommend we not sell strawberries. Because we what are currently in October and they are at the rock bottom prices. Oh. Save strawberries. Wait yes. till late October or late winter when nobody has any fruit. Yes. Leave them outside in the warm sun. Have and they'll, they'll, they'll be good till February. Months and months. So February is apparently when we should be selling them. January or February, somewhere in there. I vote for a fancy new greenhouse with either tomatoes or lettuce production. Okay. That is me. I do enjoy tomatoes. Um, yeah. Let's let's do that. I'm okay with that. How big's the big one? Or how much is the big one? Uh, let's see. Building, building, construction, production, greenhouse, big. So the big one is 10,000. So we can more than afford it. And it is roughly twice the length of the medium one. That's my vote. Alright. And then do we want to... Do a couple of them? I, I would say two at the most, just to switch up the plant variety. Do we need any other equipment before we start really dipping into our... We, we won't need more equipment until at the earliest, the next harvest. And um, just be wary when placing houses because it will automatically terraform the ground yeah yeah and it i placed the two of the big ones too close to each other and what it did is it pushed the drop zone for one of the produce into the ground and it like really caused me problems we're on pretty flat land here um and there's very little terraforming listed okay so it should be fine 
hopefully. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. that. And then, because um, even if you, we wanted to put another thing for strawberries, we could fit it in just above the current strawberry place. Yeah. There. Oh, looks so nice. Two more. And then I'll just ah. charge of greenhouse duty. And then I will set. This one to tomatoes. And we'll set Let this one charge. to lettuce. No, now we're definitely it's gonna safe. wanna get uh, a trailer. Yeah. yeah. You wanna you wanna water the greenhouses? I'm trying. Trying. Good. Uh, I'm gonna move this baler. It's uh kinda in the way. To be honest, parking equipment in the shed is kind of a bitch. A little bit. When is the best time to sell honey? Uh, I didn't look yet, actually. Actually, that's not a bad spot. Let me do that. Wait. Hopefully I'm just taking all our money. Wait, right there. Mm -hmm. And that's the water. 270 bucks for a trailer of water? Jeez. Yes. Yeah, water is expensive. I found a spot where we can get free water. It's true. In the river? No, uh, actually. So if you look next to field 32, there's a little weird shaped lake thing. And there's a spot that you can drive up into there without uh, falling in. Might be worth over time. I, I drove. I drove past it as I was I seeding try. field thirty. I think it's worth it. Two hundred and seventy bucks for a tank of water that adds up pretty quick. It is. It does seem like a lot. Um, the only thing I'll say is it costs like maybe five hundred bucks to fill each of these greenhouses with water, and then we'll get. 10,000, if not more, liters of product out of that. So it's not yeah. the worst thing in the world it's for, it's for convenience. So it's pretty much the worst. Uh, should I go convert this green trailer into flat so we can move strawberries? Or we're, Oh, right, never mind. Not strawberries, because we don't want to sell them right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Honey. Where's honey? Honey. There we are. Good time to sell honey is February or March. Uh. Should find, uh, yeah, maybe one of the buildings we're gonna need to make is the storage. Um, well, we can't store honey or strawberries, at least not in a normal way. We'd have to just stack them somewhere. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we're in October. So they made all these product, or yeah, all these products that we can apparently sell, but no way to search for the product in the list. Oh, are you talking about the, in the sales price thing? Yeah, they're all yeah. out of order. They're all they're they're in an order. I understand their order, but they're not a very obvious order. No. So yes, there's no way to search for them. <laughs> oh, one thing we could do. We could. Oh no, we can't actually use any of the production buildings on the map until we buy them, can we? Huh. Damn. I was thinking we could turn all of our wheat into flour for sale later, but can't do that without buying the uh, the mill. Curses. Hmm. Hmm. All right, that's fine. I will. Uh, I will do the fertilizing of our barley field unless someone else wants to do it. Go for it. Load it up. Make sure you buy a lot, cause uh, I'll 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 do it actually. If you just go and get the fertilizer, okay. I'll uh, I'll fertilize the field, but just load up the fertilizer 
so that I can go and do contracts after. Okay. You didn't have excess fertilizer, did you? I had like 8% or something like that. Okay. It might be enough to finish this field. It's possible. It, it'd be a little slim. I'm going to get more. Lovely autumn colors, though. Yes. Very pretty. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a top up on our fuel and repair the tractor up a little bit. Because this one's been doing some work. Uh, any, if you buy the pressure washer, it is stationary. Ah, okay. Yeah. At least as far as I could tell. Oh, we got, uh, we got another double stack of honey here. The heck? Like full, full? <laughs> full, full. I don't know how. It, it must so have fast. just taken a while to spawn the next pallet after we emptied yeah. the last one. Eh. Maybe that'll be our next purchase then as a front loader forklift thing. Something. <laughs> yeah. He's getting out of control. All right, what's the carry capacity on this thing? Looks like a lot. Okay. Let's do just three pallets of fertilizer for now. Uh oh, the carry capacity. Uh, I filled. I put four into it, and it was about forty percent. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Alright, so I will bring this back. It's got 3,500 liters in it currently. That'll be enough to do our fields and a couple contracts. And then I'm going to look at which of our tractors can take a front loader. It's possible that we might have had to install, upon purchase, the attachment. Huh? Uh, last game we didn't have to. I know that some have the option to, like, install the... Um, front loader thing. Front oh yeah, the the actual attachment fitting. Yeah, we'd have to buy that too. I just want to see which of our tractors could actually take that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then maybe compare that against something like an actual forklift or Luna. something. Forklifts are expensive. Forklifts are like, I think the cheapest one's 42 grand. Ew. Ick. But like, the attachment in 19, we didn't have to have it attached. We could load and unload those off tractors. You're talking about the the front loader attachment with the forklifts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we still needed an uh, a, a, like a bracket to attach the front loader to oh, a tractor. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um. By the way, there's a 10 meter. Uh, yeah. cultivator. Oh, for I've been forgetting to look at sales. Yeah, because we only have 19 grand, but and we're short a buck of that. Oh, it's a disc. But if we sell our, what is that? What's the difference between that one? Uh, disc harrow is, so my understanding of disc harrows is that they work exactly like a, a cultivator, except for, uh, for whatever reason they cause more weeds or faster weeds to spawn. I don't know the details, but look at that disc harrow and look at the, the horsepower requirement. We don't have the tractors for that. What's the, what's the point of, what's the benefit then? There has to be like a benefit. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Does there have to be a benefit? Not necessarily. Only downsides. We could get a big ass sugar beet harvester. <laughs> oh, actually, there's a plow for sale. Do we have a plow? So yeah, yeah, we have. A plow. I have been told that plows are useless unless you want to adjust field terrain. That is incorrect. What size? Yeah, we we plowed. 
plowing is important because with periodic plowing enabled, which we have, um, not plowing the field is a 15% yield decrease on your crops. Oh, okay. So you need to plow occasionally to make sure that, that the dirt is properly worked. Gotcha. gotcha. Cultivating okay. is required between each crop. Periodic plowing is required. Previously, it was every three harvests, but I think that's been changed, and I don't know what it is currently. Agreed, Doc, in all senses of the word. Plowing is enjoyable. So you're not plowing your own field, and it's taking literally <laughs> seven days. <laughs> you normally don't plow your own field. I mean, well, you can. Then the, plow, then the field I was plowing in the last game was just not doing it for me. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> way, to, way to bring it home. I'm going to BRB. My Snuggie is suddenly too warm. Okay. Alright, uh, what was I doing? Fuck, what was I doing? Oh, I was going to look at the tractors and see which ones can take... Uh can take it. Yeah. Which ones can take it? Hey. You, sir. Hey. Uh, which tractors do we have? We have... We have a bunch of medium tractors? I think we have a bunch of medium tractors in this field. No, we have the stair. Small tractor. 135 horsepower. And you can take a front loader. Good. 1500 bucks for the front loader bracket. 1500 eh? That's pretty good. That's, 1500 yeah. for the bracket. And then it's going to be 7000 at minimum for the actual front loader itself. Okay, that sounds lower better. Than, and then uh, a forklift attacher is another 1700 that's a win. So about ten grand or so for a whole fork, a uh, whole front loader get up. Setup. Um, yeah. So that's and we're gonna need a front loader for other stuff eventually anyway. Yeah, like uh, shoveling things and whatnot. Yeah. So forklift thirty-seven thousand, skid steer loader thirty-five thousand, telehandler fifty-six thousand, actual wheel loader one hundred fifteen thousand. <laughs> I know front, what all those things are. Front loader, 30,000. Basically, big lifty thing with wheels in about five different varieties. You return. Welcome back. We're talking Thanks. big lifty well, things with wheels. I heard that. Uh, I never took my headset off, actually. Ah, okay. Um, uh, I did realize I did miss an opportunity to say that I do plow my own fields. Thanks, Valuna. But... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, past that, we're talking about front loaders, right? Yes. Um, the strap-ons. Yes, the, the, the strap-ons to our tractors to make them do more things. Yeah. So our Massey Ferguson can take one. Our Stayer can take one. Oh, and our that. Valtra can take one. So any of our three tractors could take a front loader if we wanted to. Do any of our tractors not need a uh, weight on the front in order to do its job? I would say probably they would all need a weight. Depends on the uh, attachment that is behind you. Yeah, because yeah, it's all about the front loader is, you know, front loading stuff. So it depends on how much weight you've got in the back to counteract what you're lifting. So if we're lifting just the honey pallets, they're not that heavy. So it's not going to be a problem for any of our tractors, but if we're going to be lifting other stuff, like bunches of bales or whatever, then it's going to be an issue. Um, I would almost say the stayer might be good. Or, no, the Velma, Valtrit, whatever the hell this thing is, the blue one. Well, I will concede the decision to the more not knowledgeable folks. Mm, we need to get some of those people. Oh, well, yeah, ain't money, that's for sure. Alright. Where did that contract go that I just said? I ate it. 
That happened to me too, actually. I clicked on a contract and it vanished. Oh, yeah. the contrast, they do update once in a while, so you might have clicked it like as it was transferring to a new contract. Sad. Because the, the AI workers, or the AI farmers, will adjust their fields every once in a while, so it'll need plowing and then it'll need seeding, etc. So you might have got it just as it was going to the next state. Well, I just accepted another one and it didn't do it. It's, it's gone. Hmm. That's weird. And right, who's got the Massey Ferguson tractor currently? I saw it disappear too. I don't know. I'm not in the tractor, but I could be. I have the Blue tractor. Steer. I'm in the Massey Ferguson. You're in the Massey Ferguson, okay. Um, so I would say either the blue one or the Massey Ferguson should have the front loader for now. I don't know which. Massey Ferguson's heavier, so less chance of it needing weights in the back. Well, I'm just going to keep accepting fertilized contracts until they give me one. There, there is no, there's no rear loading in this game deck, unfortunately. It's been outlawed. You can have a, equipment attached to your ass, though. Yes. And I think there is a way to actually force a rear loader to happen, but it's, it, it's not made for that. Not consensual either. No, not at all. Also, where the hell is the thing? The um, the DLC thing that we've got. Where the hell is that piece of equipment located? It's not in crop protection where I thought it would be. It's blue. That's all I can tell you. It it's blue. Whoa whoa whoa! Oh. <laughs> hey. Uh you had a wow. yield sign. Wow. Wow. This is awkward. It was awkward. I witnessed it all. Wow. I was watching Twin Stream. Wow. <laughs> I, I just, I, I've been to menu and I get out of the menu and I look and you two are just going at it over there. Jeez. All that talk of plowing. All the talk of plowing. Just couldn't help yourselves. Where the devil is it? I'm gonna check my cookie clicker stocks while you are looking. There it is. Oh, it's good under idea. large tractors for some reason. All right. Is it a large tractor? Not, not <laughs> really. No. Um. And I. Uh, its name is Saddle Track. Yeah. That makes it a tractor. And then where's all of its attachments? Sprayer? Nope. Fertilizer spreader? Nope. Manure spread? No. I know Slurry Tank is one of its attachers. Oh, yep, those, those, those are there. Okay. God, this thing is expensive. How much is it? Uh, just for the the drivable component alone is 400,000. Damn! And then just for one of the attachers, the slurry spreader, it's, uh, if I read this whole thing correct, about 200,000. And that's to go onto the back of it. I don't know all of the other attachers that are that go with it. I thought it had fertilizer spreader or a sprayer, but I don't see those. I don't know what other things it has. Does it have... Oh, I don't actually know. Is this a trailer? Does it have a trailer? It does not have a trailer. What else does it do? Oh well. Either way, too goddamn expensive. Um, since no one ever uses the blue tractor for that much. I mean, I guess I can't say that it's dirty, so someone used it for something. Let's do... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn the blue tractor into a front loader. Okay. Take off your weight. 
Uh, yes. Actually, I need to put that in the back. Um, what else did we need the um, the front loader for before I go all in? We need it for the honey. Mm -hmm. um, the other veggies. We'll eventually need it for eggs. We'll uh, need it for eggs. The other... feed. Are the other veggies too heavy to carry? Nope. If they... I thought they were. I... The only reason that we weren't able to pick those ones up were because they were stuck in the ground. If you say so. I yeah, I'm whipping tomatoes around. Whipping tomatoes around, okay. Well, it was the lettuces that we had trouble with. Lettuce. Alright, either way, we'll go for it. Oh, this tractor's been beat up a little bit. Alright, uh, repair. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Beat up a little bit. Hey, Gila, what you want? What you want? Come here. Kitty. Whiny, whiny kitty. Alright, customize. Front loader. Uh, I think the quick is probably going to be best, although I don't think it matters too terribly much which one we go with. Uh, let's see which one we're going to get. Front loaders. Yeah, you know, the quick is probably fine. We'll go with the cheapest one for now, and if we need a heavier one, we can sell it. Uh, we're gonna make it blue. Which blue? I guess I don't know which blue. Fine. No, we're gonna make it black. Hot pink. Hot pink. Hot pink it is. Uh, how about... Hot pink with a light gray accent. Or neon green accent. Blue. We live in our childhood. Bye. Yes. Alright. So we do that, that's the quick one, so then we get the We're quick... We're leaving tractors on to burn through fuel. That's a good question. I didn't even know you could turn them off. Uh, me either. <laughs> well, it was not me. Uh, could have been me. I've been forgetting to turn off my tractors. Definitely me. Definitely me too. Oh my gosh. Huge right. carbon footprints. Yeah, well. Huge! There's no Huge. fuel rationing here. Do we have a power washer that we can access at the shop or something? You can buy one. Uh, looks like no. Okay, we have to buy one. Alright, I have, I have updated our tractor. Where? Would you like me to quit the power washer? It's 45. Oh, it's 4,500. We should. 4,500? Yikes. That's just for aesthetics. Like, making your tractor look nice. And it's fun. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, pellet fork. <laughs> it, it's called an all but tri uh, pilot fork. But. 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 The but. The but. Boop. Boop. Oh, you smash your knees there. Hmm. Alright, I come back with a better tractor. Polona, do you approve? Hell yeah. yeah. Better tractor. It was blue, but since we were going with the hot pink loader, I figured tractor needs a facelift. Good plan. Okay. So, um, what's what's next on the agenda? Our field is good, right? Mm-hmm. Because the only thing left to do is since it's oh gosh, it's nine forty-five a.m. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Is to do contracts. Could do contracts, or we could just call it good for a working day and then go to the next day. I'd like to get up to like 25 grand at least, or something like that via contracts. Okay. Just Let's... so we have some money to play with if. Let's do contracts wrong. then. What do we have? We have. Oh god, we have the bailing contract. Oh god. Field two. Yeah, the not worth it four grand bailing contract. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here with that nonsense. A uh, bunch of cultivating contracts, but those are huge Little fields, I suspect, for tiny amounts. We have we have a plowing contract for ten grand, but I suspect that is also a really big field. Oh, thirty six is huge. Yeah. We could uh, borrow the plow and then also use our own or cultivating for for the cultivators, so we kind of like could do that. Time. Could, could uh, double team those. It's a shame they don't let you Wait, use which? those. What? I stopped listening. What? <laughs> <laughs> double teaming. Double teaming the contracts with our own equipment plus the borrowed equipment. Double teaming the plow jobs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 36 is just across the river from us. And that's massive. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to do... I don't think I want to do 36. Um, if there's no like feasible ones, let's not just let's just roll it over. But I'm finishing up uh, the last spring for fertilizing job right now. So, I mean, there's a harvesting job, but that one is 2,600 payout, and it's going to Marisone, so we'd have to spend a thousand to rent the train. That's so, so late. So stupid. <laughs> um, there's field eight. Eighteen sewing job. Which one's field eighteen? Uh, right next to Doctor Beardface. Eighteen's up there. That's not. That's not too bad. That's a fairly decent sized thing that they give us, and uh, it's half the size of thirty that I just did. Uh, eighteen. You said. Eighteen. Yeah. Get yeah, I could do card. that one. You want to do that one? Go for it. Yeah. Um, Valuna, any catch in your eye? Just pick one for me, boss. Okie dokie. Uh, do you want to do the really cheap spraying job that should sure. be like instantly completed? Sounds good. That is field eight. It's a little bit of a hike, but you should be able to do it in like two passes. And I think think we have liquid fertilizer at the store already. There's, there was a pallet there of some kind or another. Let's see. How... That might be lime. Uh, it was herbicide. a liquid. It was a liquid herbicide. pallet. It's herbicide. Okay. Bah. Humbug. Alright. 
Then we'll have to buy some. Yeah, I don't want to do that harvesting job just because the train thing. I could do I could do a cultivating. Which one of these? This one. I want to play with this tractor. Field 31. Field 31. 3, 3, 3, 1. That one. That sounds bad. We'll do that one. I want to play with this tractor. I am going to go get this tractor home and then let the dog out and then get these kids to bed. Okie dokie. The dokie. I'm gonna move that herbicide out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this tiny, tiny little weight they decided it was important to put on the front of this huge tractor. <laughs> Playing with gigantic, gigantic John Deere. To do what is essentially a really small job. 32. 32? 31. 31. This one. That one. Yeah, I'm going that way. This tractor that is far too large to be driving on these tiny European streets. Yes. It technically fits. Technically. Alright, am I going that way? Uh, yeah, go that way. It's a snow ready tractor, too. It is. Ready for snow, ready for mud, ready for just dealing with the American way of muscling your way through whatever the hell comes at you. I'm taking the next right. Forgot to pick up seed. Oh no. We have some at the farm. I believe it's I believe I parked it right next to the uh the silo. Okay. This is the job I am cultivating. Right here. This one right here. Yeah, no, I'm turning off tractors, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have mixed feelings about that setting. Because there's, there's the automatic on-off, but then you can't like leave a tractor on and doing things. So like if you need to have your harvester dumping speed out while you're while you're doing a trailer or something like that, it won't dump out while, you're, while your, tra your tractor's not turned on or whatever. So it's got its uses, but it's also kind of annoying. Okay, be back in a bit. Okay. Yep. Hello, kitty. I missed his butt. Oh god. The horror. 
it's contract, I'm like, eh. I know. I, I care a whole lot less with the contracts. Yeah. As long as it's not enough to make me have to go back and do it again to finish out that last percent. Yes. One percent is the worst. Agreed. The one percent is the worst. Eat the rich. Worst. Eat the rich. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't try to cut it so close next time. Still a tiny little bit of overlap. <laughs> the one is the worst. <laughs> kitty, kitty face. Hello, kitty face. Isn't this just lovely? We have we have autumn colors, we have people hot air ballooning off in the distance. We have giant overcompensating tractors doing work. That's great. That's great. That's the view I wanted. Oops. Uh, well, of course, while I was looking at the map. It's fine. If I need to do that part, I'll come back and do it. Otherwise, I don't care. Yeah. higher is twice the one they don't notice they can't keep all the farm hands apart they all look the same to them true true plus if they're hiring out contract work that means that they just really don't want to do that job themselves so they're just going to take whatever work that we can give them yep Maybe it's time to straighten out this field. Maybe we hit it from the other direction. So I can do straight lines and not have to worry as much about following angles and shit. <sighs> okay there, Beb? Yeah, it was supposed to be herbicide, not fertilizer. Oh. Really? Yeah, we got that mixed up. Well, dang. Well, so balls. Whoops. Their weeds have been fertilized. <laughs> well, shit. Make them grow tall and strong before you kill them all. All right. 
we're, we're inside, we're tractoring. We're tractoring. <laughs> yes, those weeds were too easy. We needed the challenge. Get it all. Yeah, I think we got it all. Alright. Really? <laughs> I think I'm gonna get it all. And then out of nowhere that last little tiny little blip doesn't get gotten. Makes me sad. Still completed the contract though. Hmm? Still completed the contract though? Still working on it. It'll be fine. I have a couple spots I can re-go over if I need to, but I don't think I'll need to. Oh, well, that's good. Saving. Don't turn off your computer. Why don't you tell me what to do? I'm reaching hard, for the power, power button. As we <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Here, come here, kitty. Come here. So I, I clipped Gila's nails earlier today because he was stabbing me and um, he uh, he spent like three times the amount of time on the scratching post that he normally would and I, I could just I see him I could have done it myself dad I could have done it myself I could just see him determined to resharpen those things Bye, kitty. It is amazing how many stabby little kitty toes I find laying around. There's all the little shed claw bits that they leave after they scratch stuff. Everywhere. All over the place. They're so creepy, too. Pointy little hook talons. How's the chinchilla, by the way? She is chinchillin'. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Love to hear it. She is uh, much more sociable now. It's great. Excellent. Good. and getting sea monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so to be fair, I don't have room for anything in this room. Moose is going to buy me a shelf for my birthday. Nice. And it's going to be half laundry and half snacks. <laughs> half laundry and half snacks. I mean, I would say personally that's not a high enough percentage of snacks, but 
and do what you gotta do. Yeah, gotta be done. I might get an extra magnetic shelf to put on the side of my fridge. I am shocked at how well this works and how powerful the magnet is. I tried to take it off the other day just to uh, just to shift it around a bit and uh, in pulling it off I punched myself in the face. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I should probably let this do this. But then it was off so I was just like, oh, too late now. Oh, and today I, uh, I got a delivery of medical stuff first thing in the morning. Uh, so there was nobody to go get that delivery for me and it had to be signed for. So I was going downstairs and I had like death grip on the banister because uh, my legs are really shaky. And you know when your feet are so dry that they basically act like socks when you hit the slightest oh, yeah. slope mm. on the edge of the step? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my foot goes whipping off the edge of that step and if it wasn't for the death grip on the banister I would have fallen oh no and <laughs> going down these steps and I'm like look at you go you little speedster you're just speeding through this <laughs> and the instant that thought stopped my foot slipped and <laughs> the next thought was in an alternate universe I have died <laughs> <laughs> and I was like okay that was my hint to slow down <laughs> I fall on the stairs way too often. It's too easy to do. Like, too easy to do. And today I saw a picture of witch steps. So there are these steps that... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, they alternate. So, like, on the same step, it will be like... So for your left foot, it's a step lower than your right foot. Oh. And it alternates like that going up. And apparently, witches can't climb those. And I was like, well, I'm a certified bog witch. There's no fucking way I'm going <laughs> to go down those stairs. <laughs> I didn't I know like, that there was a name for those. Yeah, apparently, I didn't either. I just thought they were like some sort of death trap. <laughs> uh, well, physical yeah. manifestation of somebody's mental illness. But uh, I always thought I they were like, just weird avant garde uh, architect nonsense. Same, same, but apparently they're called witch steps and they were put in specifically very narrow corridors. Like, uh, servants, um, staircases used to be super narrower and at a much deeper, uh, slope. And then somebody thought, oh, let's make these more dangerous. <laughs> and went. <laughs> and we went, haven't yeah, killed let's... nearly enough servants yet. Yeah. Not nearly enough people have fallen down steps while holding a giant tray of delicate bone china. So They were a witch. Yeah, they were a witch. No need to drown her, though. She broke her neck at the bottom of the fucking stairs. So. <laughs> and the when I will always look for an opportunity for Munch to munch. Yes. For Munch to punch himself in the face. <laughs> munch. Munch. Hooray! Finally! Hooray! Finally! I'm, I'm getting close to mine. I'm at 97%. Uh, I'm a quarter done. Okay. Ah, oh, goddamn cab! <laughs> Suddenly eject yourself from your tractor. Oh, it says I'm 42% done. Look like it. Oop. Turns out I need to remember to lower the thing for it to actually do work. Yeah, totally So you're sowing wheat in 18. Yep. One of the radio stations has BTS right now. Nice. What? In this nice. game. In, oh, the, in this game, wow. Mm hmm. 
That's the most it has like, thing about this game. It has like the... online radio stations, apparently. Oh, online radio stations. I was about to say this game is progressive past the fact that they had a woman <laughs> in the opening scene. But no. No, just the woman. Can't even have unnatural hair colors. Nope. Absolute travesty. Hey, I'm completely <laughs> natural. Naturally a blow. Are you still blue? Yes. Perfect. I remember. Alright, so 31 is done. At least as done as I care to. Good job. Uh so we're gonna we're gonna push that button. We got lettuce. Lettuce! Can you pick up the thing you do, Dad? No, you cannot pick up the lettuce. The lettuce is heavy. Interesting. So that answers that. 200 kilograms. Oh, it's also a much bigger pallet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So 200 kilograms for that. Tomatoes so are 130. Nut, doctor, I need you to leave. Uh, Get out of here. What? He called, what? The, he called the Luna the Bluna. <laughs> oh. I see. Okay. Womp womp. And if I'm gonna react to other people's puns violently, I gotta react to Doc's puns violently. Yep. Even though I don't react to Doc violently. Except that one time he kept repeatedly busting up my floors. Well, it's good that we put the lettuce on the end then, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to forklift them mm -hmm. out of this little narrow spot here. Oh yeah, that was our problem. Good, uh, smart thinking. A little, little bit of a little bit of a my placement problem, a little bit of a hopeful, wishful thinking problem. But you wish fine. to be strong enough to lift the lettuce. I mean that, yes. Hey. What? Did you try hard enough? <laughs> uh. Oh, what if it's sexist? Oh, what if it's sexist? That would be great and really hilarious. All right. Oh my gosh. So, if I mouse over it, I look at it, and it does. It says it's 200 kilograms. It does not say it's too heavy, and I can carry it. If I mouse over it, it says object too heavy. Oh my god. Hang on. It does. Oh my god. Me too. BRB changing genders. Wait, can I do that? I don't see an option to change genders. Yeah, if the, the, the female ones are just female faces on the bottom. Oh, okay. Alright, changing genders. Confirm. See, now it doesn't let you pick a beard. A hook. But you can still whip the hook. lettuce around. Oh, my face! <laughs> I can definitely still huck the lettuce. Just a second. I'm going to change to... Um... Uh, Dr. Uh, wear beard on twins face or wear beard Dr. Beard face? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Beard face is dealing with my children so I don't have to. That's... How do I change myself? Uh, Alt P. Alt P. Oh god, you just disappear entirely when you go into Alt P. Yeah. No, object too heavy. That's weird. I wonder if you have to reload. I mean, maybe? It, it must be, like, right on the cusp of too heavy, and for whatever reason, it's not, like, loading the proper weight. I, I don't... I sincerely hope it's because you're the host. Like, yeah. I hope when Dr. Beardface comes back, he can't lift it either. Here, I, I suspect... just move over to his computer. Yeah, I suspect he won't be able to. I have to see this. Uh, it, it's not because I'm an admin, because there are other things that are too heavy for me, like uh, this 234 kilogram thing of honey is too heavy for me. So I think it's like right on the cusp of what is considered too heavy for a he character. can't do it! And it's probably just not loading in the weight fully. 
for the joiners. Well, thankfully, it's not it's not sexism. It is not sexism. Thank God. It's elitism. It's elitism. Only the server host it's can do. It's classism. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the old diaper and put on a new one? That's how sparkle? Is I, that I, how I get a penis? I miss the, <laughs> uh, I, I miss the, transi the transition to that uh, topic. Yeah. Also, how old is, um... Tomatoes, tomatoes not, accepted is not accepted here. I tried to drag oh. the tomatoes past the water input for the greenhouse, and it's like, hey, these aren't, these aren't, these aren't water. These are tomatoes. You can't put tomatoes in here. Doc, I find it funny that you went to diapers instead of, like, inner reflection to change yourself. <laughs> I think that says a It's a little things. telling. Yeah. Yeah, a little revealing. Tomato is not accepted here. I'm just going to keep doing it. Awfully. Biased. I cannot water our tomato crops with tomatoes. Go figure. What? Double tomatoed. How else do you get extra strong tomatoes? Oh, tobacco. Doc. I, tobacco. <laughs> um, Doc, I, I honestly feel for you. Um, the only... Like, a lot of my co-workers back when I did work, uh, a lot of the men got to get out of that. Hi, Agent. I uh, oh, got to get agent. out of the baby talk hey, because they were men. But because I was a woman who had decided not to have kids, I got double downed on it. Oh no. Yeah, I was like... What's wrong with you? Why aren't you having kids? Here, look how great kids are. Um, I, exactly. Um, oh, when you find the right person, you'll change your mind. Uh, no, I fucking won't. I have diabetes, hereditary. I have kidney disease, hereditary. Uh, I, probably mental illness, hereditary. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no. That's uh, that's the trifecta. I'm not doing it. Not passing these genetics on. What's up, smooth agent? I'll jump. Tell us your news. And they also attacked my diet coke consumption, but I mean, the children or the coworkers. The co-workers, the children never attacked me. I was amazing. I bought loud, noisy toys and candy. Like, that's exactly the one. I don't need a freaking reason. I'm good with other people's kids. I do not want my own. Okay, I guess I should help with putting them to bed. <laughs> I guess. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Okay. Agent, that's cool. Gen Z was a great game. Except the end. Hooray! Yeah, I... I, hmm. I don't know if I remember the end enough. Oh, I do. I'm real salty. I, I, rem oh, I remember. I remember bits of it. <laughs> Real salty. Smooth agent, will you take care of me in my rapidly approaching old age? <laughs> <laughs> right, so because weeder... you might have a deal. But right. there is more. But wait, there's more. Oh. Do I want to do a really expensive, really huge plowing job? Hmm. No. <laughs> I tried to say yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> nope, just can't. can't just can't do it. Uh, hmm. Don't want to do the harvesting job. I guess I could do more cultivating jobs. Those are fine. Oh, you could do that. Yeah, sure. Field 45 or 46. Which one's which? 45, 46. 45, 46. Shame I can't oh, just shit. grab both I'm of, out of them. Seed. Out of seeds? Oh no! How far into this contract job am I? 60%. Okay, that's not too bad. It's on the pass and windows and cross platform! 
Oh, hell yeah. And there nice. is more. But wait, there's more. This, this tractor. Alright, we're going this way. Ooh, the devs are trying to make a game cross platform and Steam and PS4. Nice, nice. Ooh. Did I go the right way? I did. I absolutely did not go the right way. Here. Most quick hard turn this way. Go up through Gen this Z guy's field. Really, yes. Uh, through that guy's field. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gen Z really, um, really stated my need for pew 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 pew. It was pretty good for the pew pew. It had very satisfying yeah. robot explosions. Yes. I enjoyed, for me, it was just enough challenge. Um, I really, actually really enjoyed it. And I was kind of really invested in the story and finding survivors and stuff like that. But the ending, oh boy. Yeah, it, it felt kind of like they steamrolled the ending a little bit. Oh yeah. I think more than a little bit. I think they really just said, you know what? I'm kind of done with the ending. I want to get to DLC. Mm -hmm. And then that was it. What did this? Yeah, it's unfortunate. But we also did not um, finish all the DLC. That is true. Uh, the DLC seemed to really wrap up the... Um, the difficulty? It really did, yeah. And like, it would have been fine if the equipment we were getting was also ramping things up. Right. But that didn't seem to be the case. No, it was it was definitely better equipment, but it was not quite enough to compensate for the excessively difficult ramp that they did. Now, maybe that's one of those things where, much like other looter shooters, we should have just continued looting and shooting until we had better equipment, because we definitely did not invest at all in the armor aspect. I think we did, like, two or three pieces of armor each that we managed to find, but not much. So maybe that was a thing that we could have continued on. And we certainly did not explore the whole map and did not find all of the other, you know, side plots and all that. That is very true. It's something we can absolutely revisit. We certainly can. Whenever we're feeling the need to shoot more robots. Yeah, the pew 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 pew. But I mean, with so many games coming out, um, it's uh, there are other things. Yeah, my 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 docket's a little full right now. Yeah, you especially. I, I did a quick mental calculation the other night and realized that half of my stream time is now dedicated to multiplayer, so I have even less time to get through some of my my backlog. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. It, it's a lot. But the multiplayer is tackling some of my backlog. Like there I've been, I've been waiting for FS22 for quite some time. Yep. And uh, Twin, there's a little extra seat left at the store. Just to let you know. Okay. okay. It's all good. So many right, games to play. So many games. And people want his time and attention. Alas, poor me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I still have to get through the current Autonauts playthrough, and I need to get through Among Trees. Did you finish Sinking City? Uh, no. One more night. One more stream. Oh, night. oh my goodness. I, I can't believe how long that game feels. It really does. I mean, it's not that long, but by the time I'm done, it'll be a little over 30 hours. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it, it's decent. Welcome back. Welcome back. So yeah, I heard about the lettuce debacle. Yep, yep. Um, does that mean that you are able to lift honey? 
I cannot lift honey. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking the lettuce is right on the cusp of what is liftable by the player. And it's not loading properly for multiplayer. Because I can't lift honey at, I think it's 132 kilograms. And I can lift lettuce at 200. Or sorry, 200 kilograms for lettuce, yeah. 234, I think, for honey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, they were not able to, either of them were not able to lift lettuce in their game, correct, Dr. Beardface? I was able to lift lettuce in my game. Does that mean? And that's, so that, I think that's definitely a multiplayer desync thing. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Remember in FS19, where we played like 200 hours and not a single goddamn day of rain? Yeah, I mean... Ooh, thunder. Yay. Oh, I need to turn up my game noises. Yay. Game anyway, I just came pop back to see if you needed us for anything to like skip the day or something. Not no, at the moment. Good. And if I really I need to skip the day, we can just right. 120 speed without sleeping. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, be nope. back again. Don't worry about us. Yep. That's and I will also lies. say that there are quite a few games that I have unintentionally or incidentally abandoned on stream that. I'm sure someday someone will take stock of and say, hey, idiot, you should go back and finish those games. But I'm going to try not to call them out and let people forget about them. Why does Windows do that? What do? Oh, I know what's happening. This girl's just mumbling to herself. It is. That's a fucking crazy woman. Um, so... Windows deafens other noises, other programs' noises, when there's voice interaction with my microphone and my headset coming through um, Discord. I think that's a Discord setting. So, but I have heard no sounds because uh, it had... Um, there we go, now I can hear stuff. It had game noises at zero, basically. Ah. through Windows. And Windows does that automatically for a bunch of programs, and I don't understand why. I do not have that same problem, and I'm fascinated by that. I thought that was a Discord setting that did that. At this point, it's like... Fucking audio is a mystery, man. Weird. Weird. Ooh, aggressive, Smooth Agent. Aggressive. So, the only time Smooth Agent PC got Gen X... Gen X... Gen Zero... Um, free stuff was by buying in the early access. Hmm. That, make, that makes sense. So yeah, if, if that's the case, then yeah, the, the PS4 owners might need to buy that early access yeah. bonus thing. Yeah. Smooth Agent, I won't bite you. Unless you put your fingers in my mouth. <laughs> so that's, that's the compromise. Don't put your fingers in my mouth and I won't bite you. But other than that, uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a lot of work. I, 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 not even work. I'm just kind of a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you've you witnessed twin streams long enough to basically get the gist. This is, this, uh, this is me. There, there's, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and when I say I'm rapidly entering old age, I turn 40 this week. Tomorrow. I turn 40 tomorrow. And I move and my body is basically 95 years old. And I'm not even kidding. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Also, so, happy birthday, Sparkle. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Got, got two hours to go on my side, but still. Happy birthday, Sparkle. Apparently, Baluna shipped me something, and I'm like... Uh, I haven't gotten an actual gift from a person that wasn't family in a very long time, and... When she told me about it, I was like, ha, ah, 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 awkward. I, I love you. <laughs> you 
You ordered boost some um, hot chocolate bombs, and I can't wait. Nice. Can't wait for him to get those. It's gonna be good. Totally random. What I find interesting is that there is a contract out to plow the field next to me. Uh -huh. Except for the field next to me, it has a full crop in it. So. The gray crop? No, regu regular old fully mid-growth crop. Markets must have crashed, and then instead of giving the food away, which is illegal for farmers to do, uh, lest they lose their government grants. Ugh. Horrible. Um, yeah. The, and, that could be a big reason why. Uh, looking at the field, though, it's not a crop. It's just weeds. And lots of them, and very healthy-looking weeds. Uh, that might be it. And yes, another day older, another day deeper in debt. It's true. It's true. I can say, though, I don't think I bought anything in the Steam sale. Which I, is the first in like eight years. I. Did I? I don't think I did, actually. But somebody bought for you. This is true. I, I, have, I, have been, I have been drawn into the Steam sale regardless. Yep. But no, I did not buy anything. I didn't buy anything on Steam sale. I didn't buy anything for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I, oh, that's typical for me. I I usually try to shop for at least something neat, but I didn't even I didn't even look this year. Not even new kitty toys. No, wow. I didn't even look. This this rain is super cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Me too. Uh, good thing it's raining now. Because there is a thing that uh, drops your harvest yield by 50% if you harvest in the rain. What? F 50 whole percent. 50%? Yep. So previously in 19, you couldn't even harvest in the rain. It just straight up gives you an error. Oh, what? So, um, because you're generally not supposed to harvest in the rain. But I think enough people complained about that that they said, okay, you can harvest in the rain, but so you're going to hate it. Were <laughs> so other people actually got rain. It wasn't just a myth. Yes, it was for for some reason my game. I think it was something to do with, um, I think there was a bug with playing long sessions, and all I ever did was play long sessions. So something to do with playing like three to four hours at a time. It was basically never progressing the weather timer. Ah. And I don't. I, I read up on it a while back, trying to figure out why mine never worked. And I remember there being something about playing long sessions. Um, I'm very happy to see that it's working correctly in this game. Do you ever ever have short sessions of gaming? Only when I'm recording those shorter episodes of the the series I've got going. Gotcha, gotcha. And even then, uh, Autonauts tends to take an hour or two of uh, pre-work before an episode. Uh, the one, the only time I ever shopped for something in Canada's version of Black Friday, which is Boxing, uh, Boxing Day, is, um, a camera, like, 15 years ago, because I knew that year I was going to Anime Fest, and I wanted to be able to take great pictures, and, um, much to the horror of my roommates at the time, I made friends with the couple behind us in line. <laughs> and, uh, they were a nice lesbian couple who had a son. And um, I just started talking to them. And my, a lot of my friends are introverts. And I just sort of enveloped them in the fold that is Sparkle. And then we also found them at the mall. And they were like, hey, um, we want to go get coffee, but our son really wants to go get a game from the game store, but we don't have enough time for both, and we have hit our limit. We are maxed out on energy. And I was like, yeah, okay, he can come with us. <laughs> and he was trying to buy Diablo. Nice. But because he was a young kid, um, uh, GameStop at the time said, no, you need parental, you need a guardian to sign off. And I was like, give me the paper, I'll sign. And he was like, <laughs> Oh, you would do that for me? And I was like, yeah. He was like, a kid? And I was like, yes, a kid. I have known for a long time. <laughs> Don't ruin it for yourself, kid. 
<laughs> so I signed this paper and the GameStop employee is like, I don't get fucking paid enough for this. <laughs> and he got his game and I'm like, are your parents going to be okay with this? And he's like, yeah, they already gave me permission. But we didn't realize that we somebody would need to sign off on it. And I'm like, well, I'm your guardian angel for gaming today. Go have fun. Good, good. Um, Another kid in Diablo. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. I'm a bad influence. I'm getting kids into those violent video games. Violent satanic video games? Satanic, absolutely. Nope, and I'm like, nope. good luck with the butcher. And he was like, thanks, the butcher. And I'm like, you'll know. <laughs> you'll know, kid. Oh, yes. You'll know it. <laughs> Definitely an iconic and, moment in gaming. And off he went. And he's like, are you sure? He could have lied to you about his parents being okay with that game. And I'm like, we just stood in line with him and his parents for five hours in another store. His parents are okay with that game. Yep. And they were like, okay, whatever. And I still believe in my heart of hearts that they were indeed okay with that game. Oh, sure. And even if they weren't, well, the kid should have played it anyway. Yeah, and at this point, this is carbon dating myself. At this point, that kid is like 28 He'll always be like, yeah, this strange woman signed off on my Diablo game when I was a child. And somebody has absolutely said, are you sure she wasn't trying to kidnap you? Uh, but I like the belief that he says, I'm sure she wasn't. Uh, yes, Mycroft Sparkle being a bad influence. Yep, that's me. In Canada, you needed, back in the day with GameStop, you needed a guardian to sign off that... Uh, you were aware that the child was trying to get uh, an above rating rated game outside of their rating. And uh, anyway, I signed off for this kid that I didn't really know. If his parents had been Karen's, I absolutely would have been like, your parents will hunt me down and sue me. There's no <laughs> way I'm signing for this game. Right. Yes. Yes. Comes back. I have she, no idea what you're talking yep, about. Yep, she has no idea what you're talking about. She just heard they will hunt you down. She's like, yes, I'm on board. <laughs> Very much so. I'm trying to think. It, it might have been actually 20 years ago. How old is Diablo? Uh, At least 20 years? Yeah. Well, it wasn't when Diablo first came out, that's for sure. Okay. Because we had already played through it. I think we had watched my mom play Defeat the Butcher first. Because mom played Diablo first in our household. Good, good. As it yeah. should be. Yeah. She's got to know what the, what the youngins are up to these days. Diablo released three years before I graduated? 97. No, three years before I graduated. We graduated the same year. <laughs> 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 Damn youths. I think I I'm almost done. I gave myself an old. I think I aged myself additionally years to date. Where am I? Fucking contract. Gizmo oh has dear god! Gizmo. Whoa. Apparently you can open the door from behind the stacks of strawberries. Ah. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine the mess that was just created. It surprisingly Nothing fell over. It just all shifted. Oh, oh that's, that's here. Good that's some good stacking. Also, hi, Minecraft. How you doing, buddy? Also, Valona, look, it's raining. It's raining. Yeah, because I need virtual rain in addition to real rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, I'll be right back again. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Hair's still on fire. 
that sounds unfortunate. Oh, I'm okay to the night craft. I'm okay. Tried to fall down the stairs. Uh, was today the day I punched myself in the face? No. Does my face hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's the stock that you have to take of yourself today. Does my face hurt today? <laughs> I take enough medication where regular pains don't really phase me, so I have to be like, does it hurt more than normal? Because, <laughs> like, to be fair, the thing that hurt the worst when I punched myself in the face was my hand. Ah, I see. Yeah, because of the arthritis. So, that's the first thing I thought of. Ah, oh, my fucking hand. And then I was like... Ah, my faith? My money maker? As I sit in my house and nobody sees my face? Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't you do not do stream cam. Yeah, I'm not making a lot of money. <laughs> is is 2500 worth a doghouse? Yes. Yes. <laughs> just, just thought, I just, I just, I'd put it out there. I put it out there. I think a, a majority vote might uh, be required. Where's Valuna? She'd vote for me. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have no, I have no opinions on that. Then I take his vote, and it's yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If that's how. I'm not Very actively special. voting no. I just don't personally have a need for a doghouse. Well, in Republican terms, that's a vote for yes. No <laughs> I wasn't aware that we were we were a republic. Oh, you guys have never seen that thirty bit. Uh, what meme? Thirty. Is it called thirty bit? I do not know what you're talking about. Same. Um. So there's this meme where. This uh, gentleman says, I am a Christian. I abstain from voting. And <laughs> the politician guy goes, We're Republican. That counts for us. <laughs> 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 I'm paraphrasing, of course, because I can never. Uh, I can't quote worth a, worth a damn. That's fair. Hey, Valuna, question. Yes. Uh, did you How have did any... you know I would just come back? <laughs> I, I saw you moving it around the oh, uh, strawberry patch. that makes sense. Um, did you have any um, liquid herbicide left over there at the store? Yeah. You were going to ask about there. the dog house. Good. Nope. I have I, ha I have no stake in that game, remember? Valuna, say yes to a dog house. Dogs aren't uh, yes. Stake. Then do so it. I guess it. I guess it comes down to uh, my vote then. No. You bought. think your vote outweighs a zero <laughs> vote and a plus two vote? He abstained. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe he weighs his opinion very heavily. Why? Because he's a dude? Sexist. <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> well, where were we going to put the doghouse? This is important information. By the house house. Okay, but where? Somewhere that uh, will not get run over by plows and stuff. In front of the porch? Can we repair our stuff in this garage? No. No, but we could eventually buy a workshop to repair our stuff. Otherwise, no, we have to currently take it to the shop. How much do you get paid for that contract? The one I'm doing right now? Yeah. Like 10 grand, 11 grand, something like that? Oh, okay. Then yeah, that's... Enough for a dog house. Yeah. Yep. The dog house is a go? Go. Go for it. Okay, Valuna, now you can answer the herbicide question. <laughs> Too late. I already, yes. <laughs> I already absorbed the herbicide that was left there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dog, dog. Okay. Have a dog. Can you pet him? Certainly yes, can. you can. Yes. Eat it. Can you still yes. throw the ball for the dog? Yeah. Nice. No, I mean, 
I'm agreeing to the question. Is it is it possible? Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Someone needs to move this busted plant, though. Why is the plant busted? Because people keep kicking them and running them over and stuff. Oh, that makes sense. I love these big ass sprayers. It it's so it's so beefy. Did you name the dog? Uh, no. Did we actually get a chance to give Sparkle? it a name? Did you name it? No. Its name is Vanilla. Oh, Aww. that's an adorable name. That's why I was wondering. Keep it. Are we spraying? Yeah, we're spraying. Okay. I couldn't see the spray in that uh, that light. So the rain has stopped, and we now have this like misty thing going on. It's kind of neat. Yeah. I feel like I've been doing this forever. You kind of have. This this is not a good payout of time. Which job is that? That the uh, that's just the seeding one, right? Yep. Oh, I thought we had a big cedar on that one that would have done that fairly quickly. It's not that big. Okay. There, now it's finished. Okay, go drop off the seed, because I've got like 56%. Explore full. This will allow you to modify and not repair? What are they taking contracts and and advice from John Deere? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Merton is saying, I have not yet tested it, but I heard that the vehicle workshop may just allow you to modify and not repair in this version. Oh, interesting. Well, that'll be modded. Interesting. Yeah, that's absolutely going to get modded. Also, howdy, Merton. Didn't see you there. In other <laughs> physics that don't make sense, I can move a stack of strawberry pallets by moving the bottom one, but I still can't pick up lettuce. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I don't know what's up with that, but that that's probably a bug worth reporting. Fuck. I don't know what the official weight limit is for a player, but it's somewhere, somewhere in the uh, 200... 200 to 230 range. Oh, did I did I did I do it again? Oh, you do. I, I don't I don't know. I have I did it. What do? Did the same thing Luna did earlier. Did you, you herbicide just herbicide when you should have sprayed? I, I I sprayed fertilizer when I should have herbicide. I thought you had launched yourself into the river. <laughs> no, that might be the next step though. <laughs> Alright. I'm in Oh. Hey! Did it work? Nope, it didn't work. It's sinking. Alright. Let's reset that thing. Reset. Yes. Okay. I have, I have reset, and I'm going to buy the actual herbicide this time.
Okay, let's go back. Do this job correctly this time. Where did we? There's the bumper. Hello, Vanilla. Oh, oh she looks just like um. In nineteen. It's the same dog. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. The bowl. There you go, Vanilla. Right? Like, the cockpit view on these things are amazing. They've done a great job of the detail. Ironic name for a vehicle that can't cross a river. Which vehicle was it? What is the name of this vehicle? The Rubicon. It's ironically a lot of visibility, yet also not a lot of visibility because of all the crap that's in the way. Alright, which field am I going to again? This one. Yeah. Alright, let's get that ready for that. There we go have my view set up so I can actually see what I'm doing so I can do the job correctly this time. Overrated. Yeah, occasionally it's nice though. Yeah. Let's get myself lined up. Such the wingspan on this thing. I love it. Okay. So, now cockpit view. Much more visibility now that the, uh, the boom arms are out. On, forward. We're spritzing, we're spraying. We're doing, we're doing good. God, even going into cockpit view on this thing, I can't hear the horn. They're so they're so sad. Strawberry is not accepted here. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> How's the water doing? Water is fine. Okay, now... What a fancy little bug. What? The Volkswagen bugs that drive by. Oh yeah, fancy. Uh... I like those. I like how this thing's working width is so huge and it's got these tiny tiny little sprayers in the back of the wheels to make sure you get everything. Oh yeah yeah. Honk. Who's honking? I keep trying to honk but nothing comes out. I'm not I keep hearing, hearing anything. I keep hearing honks in the distance. Uh, you might be hearing someone getting in the way of the traffic. They'll honk at you. Or real life. Or real life. Are you hearing real life, Sparkle? Have you forgotten what that sounds like? Uh, no. <laughs> they had a spooky real life thing happen the other day. Uh oh. So I, I absolutely remember. To my much detriment. I remember what real life is like. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Zero out of ten, 
Negative three out of ten. I wish we had just a little hand mower. Just to trim up the lawn and stuff. There's a little uh, stand on righty mower thing that we can get. Is it like a one of those Segway thingies? <laughs> kind of. How, how did this plant get knocked over? That was there right away. Oh, really? Yeah. We I... live in such shambles we can't write our own plant. I, I have attempted to write them many times and they keep getting knocked over again. Just throw them in the neighbor's field. Am I going to need more herbicide for the last tiny bit of this field? Am I going to have to drive all the way You guys not hear that there? honk? Do not hear honk. Oh my god, oh. Valuna. It's happening yeah. again! I hear my dog. I sincerely hope that he does not sound like honk. Honk. <laughs> Goodness, Martin. Is it slick and wet where you are? Honking and crunching noises, <laughs> not a good thing. Balls. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back and get more herbicide for the last tiny bit here. Oh, Bye. I hate that. Go through your freaking cornfield. Corn? Yeah, corn. Damage as much corn as possible with my arms wide out, just hitting everything I possibly can. If only I did this job correctly the first time, I'd have been done by now. Right? It. We have a wind warning in effect. Hmm. Also, it's a good time for hydration. I should probably go get my hydration. I forgot it in the next room. That was silly. Mm hmm. Strong, damaging westerly winds with get. Gusts up to 110 kilometers an hour. Oh, jeez. That's a little bit on the blustery side. Yeah, a little bit. My seven day looks like. Supposed to be 15 degrees tomorrow? It's fucking December. We're gonna have a hell of a January. Yep. Ran into a light pole. It's fine. Oh, Merton, that's the worst. Ugh, that would give me so much stress. Mmm, lots of blind spots when cars are parked there. Yeah, that's no, no bueno. That's the train I'm hearing. Could could be. Very well could be. Oh, time to drive off in the truck and find out. Honk honk.
Hooray! I did the thing. Now I'm gonna come back and dump off all our excess uh, liquid fertilizer, or liquid herbicide, and then we're totally gonna fail to do that correctly again next time. Wait. We got close to 2,500. Yeah. Or 25,000. Okay. I don't think everyone's back, so I think you'll just have to speed up time. That's fine. I need to BRB anyway to get my water. Okay. So, BRB. Sorry, I have cake without telling you. Sorry, what was that? I AFK'd without telling any of you. That's okay, I kind of assumed. Twins BRBing. Can you pick him up with the forklift? <laughs> I'm trying to investigate horn noises. I'm glad you can just drive through road signs like nothing. Mm hmm. Deer in the road! Oh god, thank god that just went right through my truck. The answer Yo. is yes. <laughs> Jeez. Hello. See? That's really fast. <laughs> How are the kiddos doing? Fine. This time it was the dog. Uh, gotcha. She was a bark on... I think I might take a chance to play RB. Okie dokie. Okay. I've returned. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Good night, Doc. Can I talk? I am up here now, apparently. Mm, yeah, huh. you were up there the whole time. Huh. All right then. Sparkle is BRBing. Sparkle's BRBing is is a uh, beard face still also gone. 
Yeah, it looks like he's still doing work stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna speed up time. Aim ourselves the next day. Oh, he's dark. Operate. Oh, I hear. Hello. Oh, hi. Welcome back. We were just talking about you. It is dark. It is dark. I think it will, actually. Except for, you know, when it does that. <laughs> Could try putting them both in there. Squeeze them both in, see if it works. Worst case, it only fills up one of them. Or doesn't do either of them. Wh whatever. That's fine. I'm excited for the next day and the new sales. Indeed. Well, it just filled up a little on the left one. Okay. Don't leave that tractor running all night. It's off. Oh, we can leave the lights on, though. Nice. I wonder if that burns the, ba the batteries. Hmm. Doubtful. Alright, so the one on the left is getting more filled. I'm curious if the one on the right will start getting filled once that one's done. But yeah, so I'm finding the need for information in this game. And one of the things that I would love to see is additional map overlays for stuff like rocks in the field, um, for stuff like honeybee effect. Uh, I think there's a couple other status effects or states of the field that just don't show up anywhere. All of the different, um, all the different fertilizer layers and benefits to the field. I would love to see those. Like how much percentage you're getting from bees, how much percentage you're getting from the different fertilizer states, yeah, mm -hmm. all that stuff is just—it's just missing. Analytics. Yep. Oh, it's filling up the second one. Good, good, good. Good bees, good bees. When I sold, how many did we sell? Eleven. I think we got four grand for eleven crates of honey. I'm also going to drop that there and see if that's a thing that we can do. <laughs> Because if it works with whatever's in the space, but it will only spawn one, then we can just keep shuffling them around and have multiple stacked in there. You're saying this green trailer converts to a... Yes. trailer? Yes, it does. Uh. They just gotta take it over to the, the shop and do that. It is doing the one on top. In fact, it took precedence over the one that was on the bottom. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Welcome back. It's a we're, lot of honey. We're just experimenting with the honey. Sweet. Nothing 
to see here, just experimenting with honey. Yep. Giggity. Of course, I put that on there in the worst possible way. Here, let me... Oh, shit, it's already too heavy. It's too heavy! Alright, so that's 210 kilograms. And that's too heavy. So 200 is not too heavy for me as host. 210 is too heavy for me. 200 is too heavy for you as people joining the farm. It's the plebs. The plebs, yes. Alright, so 234 is the final lift. 17. Maybe I'll move off the other ones as well. Yeah, because we're going to need to load these. Lettuce. We got a left. Well, it depends on when we want to sell things, but. I like your school, buddy. <gasps> Happy birthday. It's Happy not, birthday. It, it's not her birthday in her time zone yet. Uh-oh. <gasps> True, but I accept that it's uh, my birthday in Scoop's time zone. Okay. I'll be sure to wake you up when it's your birthday in my time zone. <laughs> That's in two hours. In your time zone. Yeah, but it'll be midnight in your time zone. Oh, yeah. uh, no, no, three hours. I kept math. Kept yeah, math. Give it one. Oh, hydrate. 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 You know, I should do that. Be right back. Alright, we're at 7 a.m., but it's a little bit dark still, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Okay. I'm just stacking straw bellies. 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 Well, here comes the sun. Here comes the dawning of it. The MCIO. <laughs> the MCIO. The also, good night, Smooth Agent. Good night, Smooth Agent. Good night, Smooth Agent. Am I in the way? I'm sorry. All good. We have seven pallets of honey. Hooray. Are you going to make bank? Alright, uh, so checking over today's finances. We've got honey. Definitely not ready to sell yet as it's November. And we're still just barely coming off of the trough of the thing here. Uh, wheat. Son of a bitch, strawberries. Wheat, however, is getting there. We could sell it now if we want mid price or January will be the top. I didn't see that. It's oh my god! Absolute chaos and carnage over here. Jesus. Let's see. Tomatoes. Best to sell January, February ish. Same with strawberries. February, March ish. Lettuce. Okay, all three of those are the same. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So we've got nothing to sell right now. At the moment, yep. Let's. Check all of our fields. See what we've got. Uh, we've got all three of our fields and are roughly in the same growing state. They are all fully fertilized and de-weeded. We got nothing in the sales unless we want a wicked huge wind rower. Hmm, not particularly. There's a no. That's a, not a great plow. It's, I mean, not it's, a, it's not a terrible have, plow, but... Do we have a plow? We have a yeah. small plow. Yeah, what's the... Three, and that's the same tractor. Those, actually, the plow and the tractor were both the same ones on sale last... Yesterday. The wind rower's new, and the... Uh, forage header is new. Is that a forage header? Looks like a forage header. Forehead uh, header. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Scoob, um, actually, Twin and I were discussing it. I didn't get anything. And uh, Twin was roped into the sale by somebody gifting him something. Yep. I got I got Hi. gifted something during the Steam sale, but I did not actively participate. Me what the heck is this bird doing? Oh, the birds be wonky in this game. Birds aren't real. <laughs> birds are drones. <laughs> I got gifted the Learning Factory, which is another um, automation style game all about setting up factories to automate things to appease your cat overlords. And I refunded mine. Yep, Sparkle is not a fan. Not a fan. Coming right. through, Val. Watch your head. Watch, oh watch your head. Watch your, watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so did I miss something? Were we? Were we? Um. Uh, what you call it? We have we have nothing to sell. Shaming people. We have nothing to do with our fields. We have nothing really worth buying unless we want to start preparing for some something. It's a big fertilizing contract. Big fertilizing contract? And a okay. big harvesting contract. Is it not for using the train? Sugar beet field oh. in the 26th. 73 grand. And then you take to, to the GCB HB grain elevator. Yeah, the problem with the sugar beet harvest is that if we take that, we're going to be spending the next two days on it. You think so? Yeah. Sugar beets is bad at potatoes, if not worse. Uh, let me take a look at which field that is and get an idea for how big. That's a huge ass field. That's the biggest field in the game. 26. That is a huge field. So, you, you remember Sparkle talking about her nightmare of potatoes? Getting yeah. PTSD flashbacks. Yeah, that, that field is roughly the same size of nightmare of potato field. But that number is so big. It is a very big number, but it would literally take us like three or four in-game days to finish. Probably I mean, I didn't multiplied. have a lot of help with the potatoes, so I kept having to run loads of potatoes too. Right. So we could cut down on the amount of time it would take by having help we, with it. We are given a single potato harvester and uh -huh. a Mack truck with a trailer. Um, well, we have a trailer and a tractor, so we've got nothing else to do today. Are you volunteering? Uh, if I have help. <laughs> yes, I okay. will help with it. Okay. Watch your head, Faluna. Watch your head. Oh, God. Oh, God. Strawberry, <laughs> strawberry trauma. I'll take the hit. You're doing okay. it? Oh, oh, God. Um... Uh, I was stacking strawberries if somebody else wants to take that. I, I cleared the lettuce. I'll see you guys in hell. Alright. Sugar be hell. Bye. Uh, I might... Somebody just, somebody just bring the truck in the trailer. I heard a honk. You heard a honk? <laughs> see? I'm not crazy. Er. I... I was... I was gonna... But we don't have those th things available unless someone's already in them. I'm oh. already in the oh. truck. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will. What's our fastest tractor? No, oh, this one's this one's forty. Because I think our fastest tractor could go towards using the other trailer. This one's thirty-eight. We got another fertilizing contract though, which I encourage somebody to take. Yeah, I was thinking about it. This one's forty-two. All right, pink tractor's gonna do the heavy lifting for the trailer work. I'm just thinking of what 70 grand can get us. It It is a nice number. It is a very nice number. That could definitely get us on our lake. That could get the big coop. Could for, get the uh, big coop? Start accepted here! What, what, Sparkle, what's going on? Nothing. Okay. Just trying to remember how to line up for these. Um, 
I wonder there, how much I it would it. cost to like even if I even if I finish like three quarters of it, if it'd be worth it to hire a worker to finish it off. If I if we had, or even if like I had to intermittently hire a worker to like go help with the farm if we needed it. I would say intermittently is just fine. Um, but hiring a worker to do a, any significant chunk of it, it's just going to take them so long that we're going to be forking out thousands. It may still be worth it occasionally, but I wouldn't say a lot of it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to accept the fertilizer contract without the equipment. I'm also going to drive over to... 26 with our trailer. It's not going to be able to help much, but it'll be something. Also, I did not look. Uh, it goes to the grain elevator. Okay, so that goes up here. No. Where is the this grain is elevator like a, in this one? It's like a three meter wide. GCHB grain elevator. Okay. Sugar beets. Okay. Tag. Where is it? Germany. There it is. I don't know why it's not it's not doing the thing I wanted it to do. Okay. Ah. Was not accepted here. I saw not accepted here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Road. Yeah. I was watching you cross that without slowing down, and all those cars just come straight at you. <laughs> the fans are seeing great. It totally kicked that guy in the face. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes not accepted here. Except my tomatoes. A hey, beard face. Hey. What side are we on here? At this side. Uh, I think I'm on the left side. It's my. Uh, I'm at nah. 23 percent just from this one line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, park this okay. right here for Just for later second. use. I'll be back later. My. Okay, I have to get my cruise control to match you. I'm at. Uh, where am I at? Ten. Let's see here. Uh, why is it not changing my cruise control speed? See you later. Um, don't know. I know that one and two change your cruise control speed by like one kph yeah, at a time. One kilometer. Oh, I time. see it. I see it. I see it. What's your kilometer speed at, Doctor Beardface? I'm at ten. You're at ten. Okay. Right. Field 19 is my fertilizing target. Oh, sorry. I'm Up so there. in your way. Whoa, it's fine. I need to go All right. that, oh, you turn around anyway. that way. Yeah. I'll line up with you then. I'll take okay. a wide. I'm off fertilizing. Okay, bye. Let me know if uh, trucking is needed. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm full and about to head off. Okay. I know our tiny little trailer is not going to help too terribly much, but... <laughs> it's so much. This thing has 
almost 20,000 liters in it right now, currently. Cool. It took 38% to do one row. And, uh, yeah. This, this fucking tree. This is gonna happen. So our tiny little trailer is not really going to be able to make much of a dent. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Oop. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to lower my apparatus here. Am I, mean, I stuck on something? Maybe. I don't see anything. Am I... There... Am I high ground on something? Could on this be. little fucking dip? Very uh, possible. I need to detach. Yeah, I'm high grounded on that fucking dip. You need me to come push you? No, I was able to detach, so okay. I can I can do my own pushing. Like the strong independent woman I am. Okay. Jesus fucking already this already this contract. It's cursed. <laughs> I I'm I was wondering if something was gonna go horribly wrong or we were all gonna lose our our sanity <laughs> doing sugar beets. I'm already I need somebody since I'm doing this, I need somebody to plan what we're going to spend our 70000 on. I thought we were already on chicken coop. I just put it out there as a possibility. I mean, we did so. say we wanted to do chickens. You motherfucking BMW, get your fucking <laughs> blinkerless she's, ass she's out of it. here. She's lost it. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely, yeah. <laughs> All right. He plowed right at, he T-boned me. I'm fucking bigger than you. So... The biggest chicken coop, 79,000, and it holds 360 chickens. Good gourd. Okay, that's cool. 360 chickens. Um, chickens, so baby chickens are $5 each. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> um, roosters, I can't remember how much roosters are. I, be, I imagine that's just to, like, create more chickens? Yes. That's they, usually what they're for, yes. That, that is generally their purpose, yeah. And being angry at things. So then we can, like, have a starter batch of, like, 50 chickens and then a couple of roosters? I mean, I don't know how many you need per, like, I don't know what the growth rate. I would I would probably say 50 to 100 chickens would be a good starter, starter batch. Because that thing, that thing holds 360 chickens, or, or, I guess, creatures. So, I mean, we could start off with, like, a low amount and then just it'll gradually build over time yep I can't believe how fucking difficult this is <laughs> <laughs> like I'm still stuck on that little tiny hump of a hill oh no Attach, can you need bitch. me to come meet you can uh, Jess can you go ramp sparkle please yeah with pleasure there's already a tractor over there, so you don't need to bring one. Oh, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Aww. <sighs> I self-ramped myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm coming for you, buddy. Okay, I'm at 79% with 36,000 liters of the sweet of the beets. All right, this is silly, but I'm going to hire a worker for this for a second so I can plan things. Um, I'm, uh, just I'm just gonna turn around in the field. Okay. Because, fuck you, Van. I'm gonna take your bumper with me. Because fuck you, Van. I swear to God, if I'm fucking stuck on this van. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, okay, Jess, can you, can you go to Sparkle? The sparkle. curse of the fucking root vegetable! <laughs> Take a deep breath, Sparkle. <laughs> I am literally humping this guy's nose. Like. But why, though? Because he plowed into me. <laughs> uh, where are you? Getting off? Are you just gonna ram into my side more? I'm still on the road, you big dick. Right. Did, are you inching up? I was kind of hoping it'd be worth buying a bigger trailer for this, but they're not really cheap. 
See, this wouldn't be a problem wow, if vehicles were made idea. by... ...out of pure, solid concrete on wheels. Like... Right. If this was an actual vehicle, I'd just pull them into the field with me. Right. Yeah, semi should overpower small little passenger van, no problem. Whoa. I what? bounced off you. <laughs> just ricocheted off my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hit me from the side, please, Valuna? Can you hit me from the other side and dislodge me, please? Because I'm just pinned on his nose. Perf. <laughs> perf, perf. Oh my. <laughs> you can't hit him. Yeah, you gotta... yeah, he's literally made of solid concrete. <laughs> and some sort of, sort of vibranium rebar. Oh boy. Nice! Oh, Smart. good job, good job, good job. You did Look it. At you. you did it. Look at this giant line of cars <laughs> now. Cars okay, Frogger, let's go again. Round mm. two. <laughs> <laughs> go up ahead, Jess, and, uh, and block the traffic so she can get by. I'm gonna try to, no, like, no. aggressively. Just let her get, get in front of this other red car. Or that, or that. All right, you're free to come. Yeah, go just for it. <laughs> aggressively hop on top of them. Sorry, <laughs> now she's stuck. Oh dear. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This is. Are like you? Because you're not off ball. yet. Okay. All right. All right. I'm at. 10 miles an hour, or 10 I'm, kilometers an hour. I'm very full, so... Okay, well, then I'm gonna stop underneath you. I'm also very jealous of this field. I really want it. It's a really nice field. Out, out of okay. curiosity, I'm gonna go check the price on it. So how does this thing work? How am I supposed to... Uh, so we do X farmland. It is worth 1.1 million. Whoa, okay. Just Was I not close dollars. enough? I don't know. I look like I'm right under it. Maybe. Do you have to do something to the trailer? Do you have to like. Is it closed? No, the cover is open. See? Closed. Open. Tomato's mm. not accepted here. Tomato's not accepted here. What is this nonsense? Maybe I'm not close enough. Here. You do kind of have to shove yourself right all up under there. Let me get all snuggy. That seems Stop bizarre. moving. Sorry. I was going to help, like, we both go forward and I'll meet in the middle. Okay. That, like, we are, we are... There, there's no reason why that shouldn't work. Am I dumb? Do you have the thing oh, unfolded? Oh, you, you have to control this thing. You what? can control the thing, but you shouldn't have to. You have to. What? Hold on here. I am curious. Why would they take the um See, I'm about to Oh maybe sneak. you weren't low enough. That's what I mean, like it wasn't uh Okay, important. I'm gonna sneak by a bit a bit. I might have to pull around. I'm gonna pull around you. Um, can you lower it as... Oh, I'm going to take you with me. Can you raise that, please? Maybe. There's so much happening over there. It is very exciting times over here. Because if I just hit O, it does this. So to, like, fold up over. Yeah, and close. Yeah. Scooby's feeling left out from all the excitement. Sorry, Scooby. Scoop, the only way you're, you're going to see it is if you come and be a farmhand. Yeah. Yep. All right. Do you want to try lowering that as far as possible? 
Yeah, so first I'll kind of, let me get lined up here. I lament at the amount of sugar beet that you're missing in those passes. I can see we'll them still get from paid here. the amount, the same amount. Uh, so they're expecting a certain volume of sugar beet to be delivered, so we may have to do more detailed striping on that. That's fine. It's the same as any other contract, right? Yes. To, like, Except with sugar beets. I don't know how this is not... Am I, am I dumb? Somebody else get in this thing and see if it's just me that I'm dumb. Okay, I'll get in. Maybe you have to turn it on? Let me in. It does need to be on to deliver the product. That's probably it then. No. It won't let me turn it on. Can I please try? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I keep hopping into the fucking truck. Okay, let me see here. Turn on harvester. I'm dropping ourselves down to real time for for the moment. Pipe in. <laughs> B. Okay. That's fair, Scooby. Let us know. Pipe in lower harvester, I, fold harvester. I failed. Straight lines, please. It'd be really nice if the oh, little mini map at the bottom about. does the overlays. It'd be so nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's one of the other things I, I desperately wish they would change, is having the mini map actually show the crop states and yeah, stuff. Uh, time for the Googles, because I can't see it either. Can I, yeah, can I take a look? I'm Google right now. Can I take a look? Yeah, just a second. Oop, that's too oh, far. Oh joy, have fun Scooby. B? Okay, I hopped out. Good night Scooby. Good night Scooby. So we're just trying to figure out how to deliver. Yeah, how to pipe it into the truck. I'm pretty sure the truck is fine because it's going to go right into the trailer. Ah. Bye. I'm going to Google quick. Uh, also, I need to look at... That. So far, I have been told to save and reload. Save and reload, you say? Are we going to lose that contract? I don't think so. No, shouldn't. Okay. Alright, I guess I guess we would need to save and reload then. Because. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Can I try one the little trailer? Yeah. Let me uh, back this truck up. Little what trailer was working fuck? just fine. That's why I wanted to look at that trailer to see if that trailer <laughs> is the correct one. Dump sugar beets on Valuna. Why would they give you a one that can't? Yeah, this is the rented one. No idea. Bonk. And all you did was turn on the harvester? Yeah, I I did. All I really did was turn it off, turn it back on again, and hit O to fold it and refold it again. So I didn't Dr. do Beer anything Trace, different. Can you try tipping the trailer and then untipping it? So how do you tip it? Uh, control I if it lets you. Uh, it does not let me because it says I don't have access okay, to Okay, that's fair. Uh, so let's see. And I've closed the cover and opened the cover. Nope, no hitbox at all. Um, 
Which trailer is this? This is the, the Wilson. Wilson Pace Setter. All right. Uh, Wilson, Load King, Wilson Pace Setter. This trailer does not hold sugar beet. <laughs> wow. So Fucking we have to use brilliant. the tiny trailer. Or at least a big trailer. Yeah. They gave us they gave us the wrong friggin' trailer for this job. Bug report. The um the curse continues, so Wow. I guess I'll take this bad boy and jump it into the river. Yep. <laughs> Please. Uh leave leave the semi. Uh we might need that okay. if we're gonna lease a functional trailer. Okay, I'll just get this uh, big trailer out of the way then. Wow. The biggest one is, uh, let's see here. The only one that we can use is the uh, the red cramp near the end. Yeah, the that's, 95k. That's the only semi-trailer that can accept sugar beet. And okay. how much is the release? A 4K. Lot. 4K, eh, 4K is not too terrible. Yeah. We'll, we'll just add 4K back in with money afterward. I think that's fair. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that is Because it's bugged as yeah. shit and they gave us the wrong one. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm already on my way to the shop. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm going to lease that. Go for it. Then. Yeah, that's focus. That's so uh, Yeah, Yeah, that, that's bullshit. I think it's a little bit bullshit that that trailer can't accept sugar beet because I've, I think I've used that trailer before and it should be fine. All right. I've got the sugar beet thingy parked up roughly where it will be continuing. I'm going to back out and go do back to my contract job. <laughs> right, Merton? Like, what the hell? <laughs> so I attempted to submit a bug report for that other contract issue that we had, and I got this uh, bogus auto-reply basically saying, here's how to fix your game if you have issues running the game. So... I'm just basically hoping and assuming that that bug report is not going into a black hole. Yeah. And straight into a shredder. Yep. <laughs> I like how our tiny little uh, trailer does sugar beets. But... <laughs> right. And the contract they give us does not. Alright, so contract, harvesting, sugar beet. Uh, let me write down notes here all the effort we got to lining that up too i know Which trailer was that again? That was the Wilson Pace Center. Okay, here I come. Okay, bug reported. Or There's how bug, to fix your game. Bug in my pile of things to report. You know what it is? We saw that big chunk of money and we flew too close to the sun. <laughs> yep. We were punished for our hubris. <laughs> you, are, you are not wrong. We are definitely counting our chicks before they hatched. Yep. Yep. Alright, out of curiosity, can I get... Can I get a thing to buy No. Your divine punishment shall be sugar beets. Yes, my craft, yes. We we heard you hated potatoes, so sugar beets. Yes. Root vegetables in general shall be your demise. <laughs> Right, 
please let me have enough to finish this contract so I don't have to go back to get more. Should have taken the hint the first th time this trailer got stuck. <laughs> Just thrown the whole thing away. Yep. Oh, trailer stuck. It's no good anymore. Yep. Set fire to it. Hello, I have arrived. Hi. Give me the beats. Oh god, that's <laughs> filling up fast. Alright, so 20%. that trailer accepts 60,000. The Wilson we got was 40,000. So this will be faster anyway, because it can accept more stuff than the previous trailer. Oh, perfect. Halfway. And I'm empty. Ah, I'm not of them full. I go onward now. Nice. Just a second. Let, oh uh, no, what happened? Oh god, but the buttons, uh, they confuse me. Uh. <laughs> There we go. Wait, wait, let me catch up. We are 2% done with the sugar beet harvest. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would share that lovely little tidbit. Oh, like the this? beard face, just stop for a moment. Let me catch up. <laughs> Why don't you catch my speed? <laughs> because that's way I can there now see perfect. Okay, I press C now. Yes. Okay. So I should be able to finish this. Zero percent transported for field twenty six. Hey, I just dumped a bunch. <laughs> it wasn't even a fraction of a percent worth showing. <laughs> That is, that is a little bit on the sad side of things. Alright, contract be done. Anytime now. I think I have to be going slightly faster than you for some reason. Right. I have to keep adjusting my speed. Hmm. Just focusing on making sure it's straight line, otherwise Papa Twin will be mad at me. Yep. Yeah. Papa Twin's like that. So angry. So angry. Auntie Sparkle's always hangy. No? No? Fine. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm not turning around in this this bastard. That's fine. Let me fill up on two rows again, and then I'll let you know. Okay. Well, two rows put me at 65%. I'm gonna take a shortcut. <laughs> Is it in the river? I hope not. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the direction you were aiming, and I decided to go a different way. <laughs> You'll be fine. How many cars are over here. I have survived. Hooray! Hooray! Wait. Yeah, I saw that line, Dr. Beardface. You were going to get the switch. Right. Complete. Collect. Done. I was, like, taking all this time what? to go back to the shop and not accept the contract, or not complete the contract. I'm like, wait, I'm in my own equipment. <laughs> Why am I struggling so hard? Sugar beets. Sugar beets. Sugar beets. <laughs> Watch this. I might not be able to handle the full weight of the trailer. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would not be entirely surprised. I'm a little bit curious because uh, the place we have to deliver to is up a pretty steep incline. It is, yeah. Up there. 
it's definitely it, it's at the uppest bit of the entire the entire map. Wait, I'm not close enough. Oh god, why is that? Oh god, what a struggle. I got the beats. Give me the beats. Don't don't drop the beats. What? You stupid. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying, but this thing is this thing is maxing out. Like it's trying really hard. Is it just struggling to pull? I think I might have to go with a partial load. Okay. Go. Yeah. yeah if I'm not if you're struggling it. on the field, I am concerned about you getting up the hill. Oh my gosh, who's got their lights on? What is happening? It blinds me in this cab in first person view. <laughs> <laughs> All of the lights. Alright, I'm gonna go fertilize number eight. <laughs> 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 she came up with her trailer. And it's like it barely took anything. Oh boy. Just this tiny little pat 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 of sugar beets and then... <laughs> I appreciate the team effort that's going on here though. Yep. For the beets. Alright, where do I gotta go? Uh, so we gotta go east of the map. Kind of northeast. Yeah. Um, just straight north of the shop. Okay. Yeah, it's way up there. Is it the exclamation mark? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Best of luck. Thanks. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh please, nobody peep on me. Should I um? Should I turn off traffic while we're doing this? That might be a really good idea, actually. Okay. So instead of check-ins, what's the um, what's the next um, tipper that we can get that would potentially be more helpful than eight thousand liters of beets? Um, let's take a look. So we currently have eight thousand liters. Which is basically the smallest trailer. Um, we could go up to the cramp at 12,000. Could go up to the class oh, at up to 22,000. Oh, she's sliding. Could go. With a right. current budget. Current? So balance is 26,000. The best that we could probably afford would be one of these three trailers at eighteen and a half thousand. I don't honestly know what the difference is between these two trailers because they look identical to me. Oh, this uh, is a bigger number. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this is a dolly and this is a solid axle. Okay. I hate driving dollies, but it's eight thousand cheaper. On your way back, I'm gonna need you to come um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shove me. I I like traffic as a a slight challenge bit, but when we're when we're struggle busting Whoa. this hard on it, and we got a job to do, I'm okay with turning it off temporarily. So this semi absolutely cannot handle this. Great. Um, Trailer of sugar beets. Okay, so what's the uh, twin? What's the best semi that we could lease, and then also kick back the money on because they give us inadequate. They so which semi is that? That's the Mac, right? Sure. Can you can you give me more information on that? Just pick um, the biggest one, and then we'll just refund ourselves. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that we're not just leasing the same one and it's just not enough. Yeah. Um, 
because uh, all of these rock out a hundred, five hundred horsepower. So there's not this really is, any difference. This is the Anthem six by four. Anthem six by four. That is the biggest. Wow. <gasps> what the hell? The only the only thing that I don't know is what um if it's, if, got, the best if it's got the highest on. spec on it, yeah. So, Sparkle, if you hold still for a sec. Yep. I'm, I'm coming up right behind you. I cannot make it up this hill. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. There's no markers on it whatsoever to tell me which spec it's got. Cool. Uh, there's the MP7 425. Does that do anything? MP7 yeah. 425. That might do something. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 MP, MP7 425? Yeah. Okay, so that's the lowest horsepower. So let's lease us the highest horsepower and make it purple, because I say so. Lease six grand. Okay, I'm going to unhook. I'm gonna go ditch this truck in a field. Yep. <laughs> river. River. You're right next to the river. Turn around. Kraken. No, I don't even want to bother driving into the oh, river. Okay. I just want to. I just want to get the job done. Yeah, I know. What have I done? What this have team. you done? Break us all apart. We're gonna be here all night. Okay. I swear to God, if this doesn't do it. If it doesn't do it, then this game has issues with powertrain. Or just root vegetables. Or just root vegetables. Yeah, I mean, like, what's the point of having all that space if what's there's nothing way? that can exactly. support it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Minecraft. Yep, Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft says seventy three thousand isn't the reward, it's the cost of lease the right equipment. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean we're we're ten grand into leasing the right equipment this time. Yeah. So far. Yeah. Alright, make sure I hit the right road. I'm at ninety seven percent. Well, you're gonna sit for a I'm while. I'm coming. <laughs> That's what she shouted. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna get us a thousand bucks on this field in like half a second here. <laughs> You're the only one who's making us profit. <laughs> I'm doing work. Doing work. Okay. Is there another way up to that? Uh, like a only better... a more steep way. Only up. You more can. Steep? Yep. Yeah, you can go up the way I go down. Yep. Through the bushes. <laughs> So where's the... So if this you look here, right? east of the map, east central, there's that wide looping arc road that leads you up. That is a very steep incline. There's some shallower paths that you can take to kind of get there a different way. But like, so both the roads that lead up there are steeper? They're, it's at the top of a hill. It, yeah, it's it, okay. Yeah. Engines in the red. Okay. I'm literally not moving. Can you get behind me and push with the other semi? What's up? Sorry. Somebody else. <laughs> Somebody else is doing it. I'll go. I'll go back to making this money. Yes, please. Yeah. Yep. There's a lady over here just wondering what the fuck is going on. Yeah, they're just uh, staring. Let her wonder. Let so her I don't know wonder. how much, because I can't truly get behind you. Okay, I'm going, pushing us. Again, I don't know how, because... Alright. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is what I'm going to propose. Mm -hmm. Okay. We cancel this contract. 
give us the money that would that they fine us and would have given us, yeah. and just be done with this. Let me let me try one thing real quick. Yeah. Okay. Get back down the hill. I'm gonna see if there's a, just a different route. I, I don't think I can get back down the hill because I can't physically move anything here. That's what I mean. I'm gonna hit you at the back here and hopefully we'll. Okay. Didn't really do very much. <laughs> nope. Can I get nitrous? <laughs> <laughs> What if you hire a worker to deliver it? Oh. That would be worth trying to see if they can, if they can somehow get around the game mechanics. Uh, let's see here. Open open worker menu. It has to be in the red vehicle. Oh, it won't even let it do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, detach. Yep. Yeah, worth trying. But yeah, something's oh. something's fucky if a 505 horsepower semi can't pull a full trailer full it's of. It's not even a full. It's not trailer. even full. A partial trailer full of material. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so open worker AI menu. All right, another bug to mark down. So, how do I do this then? So I have to click on this, and then set destination. Target rotation? What the hell does that mean? Oh, that's just which direction it's going to end up when it's done driving. Sure, right there. Okay. Target is Target unreachable. Is okay, well, let's just try up the hill here. I'm curious if target unreachable means that it can't it can't do it with the current vehicle. Like if it's somehow calculating the he's going. movement. He's going? Oh no, he tried for like half a second. No. Oh. And he's charging us money while he's not trying anymore. So he's struggling oh. just as much. Cool. Okay. Here, trade me trucks real quick. to see if I can well, get on the other side. One. What I'm trying to do is just make it so that I'm turned ready to pull it the other way. 35 Oops, is sorry. Okay. Bonk. That must be fine. Oh. Get our tractor really back in working position and then I'll Not go Not allowing you to hook in? Is our tiny trailer being used currently? Uh, I can get out. I don't need it right now. I'm just wondering if I can use it for contract work instead of barring their equipment. Uh, it is full of sugar beets. I can try and dump them out on this field. Uh, you won't be able to, unfortunately. Even if it's their field? <laughs> I'd say probably not. You can try, but then we'd have to pick them up if we're planning on delivering them. Oh. Yeah, okay. keep doing what you're doing. I like, yeah. I like what you're doing. Okay, I'll just keep ramming your ass then. Thanks. Giggity. Oh, never mind. Both these contracts go to Marison anyway. Fuck that noise. Alright. Also, I'm running over this pedestrian repeatedly because he won't move. Good. He's probably part of the whole thing, you know? He's part okay, of the, the... The curse? The experience. Is, yeah. He's he came here just to witness our struggle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me back around here. Hello Mow it, here. dry Hello it, road. ted it, bail it. Not worth 4,000 still. Okay.
Uh, field 10, field 17, 10, 17. 17, really? Oh, it's a $400 job, okay. <laughs> that would do it. Uh, 28, 29. Those two. What do we have for a cultivator again? Tiny, I think. Yeah, we got the tiny cultivator. Okay. Oh god. Our strawberry pile. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it in its full glory in a while. Right, and then Tomatoes I... not accepted here. Tomatoes cannot be accepted here. Oh, you. For a moment, it wasn't like letting me back up, and I was like, "Is this fucking truck stuck against this <laughs> fucking trailer?" <laughs> Just not let me attach if I'm at this angle. <laughs> okay then. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Just need to let me go down the hill, please. Please, game. Let me go back. Good hit. Good hit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me double check uh, these things. I see you moving you're like good. you're wiggling. You're good. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Ah. Freedom? Almost? Oh. It's because two of my tires aren't touching the ground. All right, I'm Imagine gonna... the front end damage on this truck. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're crunchy at this point, yeah. I'm gonna go deliver this uh, packet of sugar beets to the farm, or to the, whatchamacallit over there. Okay. To be honest, I still say this isn't worth the effort because this um, this was set up for failure right from the beginning. Yeah, You're not wrong. Well, and now knowing that even the most powerful truck can't carry half a load of, of sugar beets, it's it's not going to happen. Yeah. So yeah, we gotta we gotta give up on this one. Yeah. I will. I just yeah. For future just, contracts, it'd be nice to know that we can go a different direction though. And if this is like the weight standard, because it's not going to get patched anytime soon. No, no, it's not. Nice. Freedom. Yes. Freedom. All right. Let me get out of your way. Okay. So this is the beastly truck. Let's go left here. Watch him get stuck again in like two seconds. Oh, I'm scared. Go right in the river. Don't Where are you driving? They don't give me GPS right Oh, now you're picking up speed. Well, so this is flat, but. Got like. Uh oh. Bye. Did the game crash? Uh oh. Game. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> He just lagged out. Yeah, I saw him just suddenly veer off in a direction and almost into the river. <laughs> I, um, I ended up up the side of a hill, but it's not the end of the world here. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... Hmm. Okay. can't walk more than a foot at a time. I Message received, game. Message received, indeed. Message received. <laughs> so what, what just <laughs> happened? Can I pitch my solution again? Yeah, you certainly Quit. can. Quit. Give us the contract money because we worked our asses off so far and have got nothing. I'm, I'm not in disagreement with this flaw. I have to go down all the way here. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my truck is stuck, so fuck it. Yeah, he I just, got nothing. He just glitch spazzed. 
I'm done. I'm done. Everybody's done. We're all done here. We're, I'm just here. <laughs> so, here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. We're just gonna go up to this thing. I'm gonna give it the old cancel Reno. I'm gonna yep. take the hit there. Dream legged at the same time. That's how powerful the sugar beet curse is. The sugar beet curse. It almost took down the entire stream. Okay, so minus 8,000 for that, minus 10,000 for our equipment lease, and then whatever we feel is appropriate for our time invested in that. 70k. <laughs> 70k. <laughs> that was the contract reward. And they... They tortured us, made us believe that we could do it, and then... It, it was like a cursed object. I, I am on board with half. This was I'm a in. bug. We deserve I'm, the full amount. <laughs> I'm going to do it on this one. Uh, we, we, harvested, we harvested a line and a half of sugar beets. I mean, we didn't exactly put in full effort into it. I did, I did we four lines. So we, there was no way that that, would, we, that could succeed. I'm, I no I fully agree. I just don't agree of uh, giving us seventy thousand for that. <laughs> then how about fifty thousand? That's not half, but the amount of time and effort we just spent trying to work around a bug. Well, let's see if I get any money for selling these beets that are in the trailer right now. Uh, <laughs> if anything, you're probably gonna get about three thousand for that. I'm guessing. I haven't looked at the prices. I mean, we have a tr <laughs> we have a truck with a trailer with 30k beats. We just need to get them to their location. <laughs> Wait, do we still have that? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because we leased the truck and the trailer. I don't, it, uh, we're going to have to reset these because... Uh, you froze? Damn. I'm back. So I, we're going to have to reset them because... And I, I, we'll find out whether or not you lose beats or not. Oh, boy. Uh, resetting Whoa. lost my fertilizer when I reset one of the things. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I suspect it will empty its contents. 50,000. There's nothing I can do about that. 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we come and get, like, a front loader to come no. tilt, tilt the thing. No. Uh, I, I have tried such shenanigans before, and there is no... I lifting equipment capable of lifting an entire full yes. semi full of beats. <laughs> Where is the. Oh, okay. The mummy's mm -hmm. field of sugar beets? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So the contract is done. We have someone still attempting the track or the, the truck. It ain't me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it is me. Although now I'm really stuck. Yeah. I mean, you were kind of really stuck before. Now you're just even more so. Now I'm step bro stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I mean... Even if... How did somebody not run into this bug in beta? I don't know. I oh, I wonder playing. about the level yeah. of testing. It's the biggest field with the heaviest product on the biggest... on the Probably this is the hilliest map, I'd imagine. But still, you'd think that if they're designing a hilly map, that they would have tested a full load to make sure that it could be actually traveled through the map. 2,000, oh. okay, okay. 2,000, all right. I was a little off, but not too not too bad. So if that was 8,000 liters, then this 36K worth of beats would be... 8K? Yeah. Give or take, yep. All right, I, I I will I will accept fifty thousand because there's no talk and sparkle down below that anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I got so many trucks stuck on this one contract. The trailer stuck on the little dip hill heading into the field, and I had to get help getting that out. And then another truck stuck 
trying to deliver those beans. No, and then another truck stuck the same truck as the little dip before on the hood of a vehicle. I'm just saying we've never been paid for bugs before. And maybe we should start. <laughs> maybe yeah. we should value ourselves more. Time is money, friend. Yep. Maybe we should char start charging developers for uh, failing to find obvious bugs. Yeah, this is a hell of an obvious bug. <laughs> like the stuck stuff, fine. Terrible driving. Yes. Just saying. But I could I could not <laughs> see that dip. Could oh no, I, I almost bought it, bottomed out my hiding. tractor a couple times just trying to fertilize a field. So yeah, no, I get it. Right? Like. Uh, so yes, we did just steal ten thousand worth of sugar beets from the cursed pharaoh. That is correct. The hell with that pharaoh. Uh, I'm done. Yeah, I'm going to move on done? to productive things. Wait, yeah. what did we just lose money on? Weren't we at 20 something thousand before? Well, the contract. Good. Yeah. Took an 8K. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we went to right. 13,000. Got it. Okay. We stole sugar beets. Okay. Do you want to do that? Do we want to do this now? What's the what's the deal? Um, I would need to close I'm out the game. Go to bed. Edit. Yeah. Oh, you're going to bed, Val? It's 10 o'clock and I haven't been sleeping well, so I need sleep. Oh, that's okay. Fair. That's fair. That's, that is very fair, yes. All right, let me return this nonsense. Uh, where's our own? Well, before you go to bed, we gotta get these things watered up. Jeez, Louise. All right. What? They're fine. You can do that. Return. Return. I mean, it's not like they're gonna continue to be watered while the game is off. And they only had seven k to start with today. <laughs> uh, return. Return. Fuck it. Go away. All right. Our truck and trailer are gone. Our contract is gone, right? Yep, yep, contract is gone. Okay. All right. So I've got what sixty-eight thousand listed to uh, be refunded to us. Eighteen for the leases that we just did, and then fifty for the contract. Yes. Well, Ten for the leases, eight for the loss in the contract. Oh, right, right. That's what my eighteen was. Yeah. And then paying us our worth. Alright, uh, so I will do that uh, after stream here. And then I also I will poke Thank at a couple you. different mods and then give you a list of mods to download. One of them being the um, the live money fix for cases like this that are probably going to happen again. So we don't huh. have to worry about restarting. I wonder if somebody figured out that that was needed after a sugar beet. Heist. Nah. <laughs> nah. Th this is this is basically a, a a full player cheats mod that also happens to allow adding and removing money. Gotcha. <sighs> All right. Jesus. <laughs> come I come back up. from my walk and I see a tower of people. Good times. Oh, is our work times. our worker would be. Yeah, our worker would have stopped ages ago, yeah. Yeah. We kicked that bum to the curb. Okay. Okay. Savey, savey. Savey, savey. Martin, you are correct. Though if I ever touch sugar beets again, ever, it'll be too soon. So, if the 505 horsepower semi doesn't do it, I don't think there are any semis modded out there currently. So the only other thing that could possibly do it would be a higher horsepower tractor with like a semi dolly or something like that. That's the only other thing that could potentially cover it. That's so, not worth it. Not worth it considering that's easily four or five hundred thousand dollar investment. Yeah. Even the, oh, wow, yeah. So like the... Highest horsepower tractor is 665 horsepower. Yep. Oh no, sorry. There's a there's a 400 or 682. 682, horsepower. 673, 692, New Holland T9 series. I wonder also if that's something to do with wheel slip. Like maybe it just didn't have enough traction. That might require testing. I might do that at some point. Because I'm curious if we, if I took a tractor that was around 505 horsepower or whatever and tried to drag that thing up the hill, I wonder if it would be able to do it. Mm -hmm. 
Because it could be okay. that the semis just have real garbage traction and they didn't account for that. Fascinating. Okay. Well. But it couldn't even barely pull it through the field. Correct. Oh. So True. It I'm, was struggling even in the field. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious what they've done to change everything. It could be traction, it could be um, it could be horsepower, it could be all sorts of stuff. I know the, like in the winter when it snows there's you know traction issues with the snow so maybe they adjusted something with the traction to account for snow that also broke everything else i don't know but whatever we'll we'll, we'll figure it out overall though i think we did a good day lots yeah. of uh, greenhouse action yep. bees mm -hmm. added to the farm yep. yep bees two new large greenhouses our Vanilla, field of the dog. We have a we have vanilla, vanilla of the yeah, dog, which I still Papa. haven't seen. Hello, puppy. Come here. Where are you? You puppy. hadn't even said hi to our puppy. I have not. And the ball disappeared. It's over here again. Puppy. Feed the dog. Puppy. I fed the dog earlier too. I fed her too. I see it is full of kibble currently. She's gonna get fat. She's gonna be a fat puppy. Where's puppy? There's no puppy. There's. Huh. There's no puppy. Puppy? Where'd she go? What did you do to our dog? We all locked up. Pup puppy? Hello? He likes to be in the field that, uh, to the nope. right. Nope, that's, that's a crow. The... That's a crow. That's a crow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a scarecrow. <laughs> Dog's not in, the, not in the garage. Not in the front step. Not around the house. Well, no puppy for twin. No puppy for me, apparently. Maybe get that plant out of her doghouse. Maybe. She probably knew you were dangerous <laughs> the boat. Trying. Come on. Come on, plant. <laughs> no, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Hi, Vanilla. You're so spiky today. You're so spiky and green and leafy today. I have vanilla. <laughs> yep, dogs. Dogs just missing. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Guys, well, you have a good night, okay? Yeah, you too. Good night, uh, friends. It was fun despite the uh, the chaos. Fucking sugar bits. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> bye. So that was a hell of a night. We did do stuff, bees, greenhouses. Planted our barley field. Finished weeding all of our other fields. We learned things about player weight capacity. We learned things about certain obvious bugs that should not have gone unfixed. But alas. That'll be it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow should be zombie parkour. I think. I think that's the correct day of the week. So yeah, that'll be it. Merton, Mycroft, anyone else still lurking out there? Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I might have missed, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.